Λογητός ο Θεός Σιμών πάντοτε νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Δόξασή ο Θεός η ελπίσιμον Κύριε δόξασή, Βάσιλε Φουράνια παράκλητε το πνεύμα της αλήθειας, ο πανταχού παρόν και τα πάντα πληρών, ο θησαυρός των αγαθών και ζωής χορηγός, ελθέ και σκήνωσον ημίν και καθάρισον ημάς από πάση σκυλίδος και σώσον αγαθέτας ψυχάς ημών. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ισχυρός, Άγιος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ισχυρός, Άγιος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ισχυρός, Άγιος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι και νυν και αή και στους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Παναγία Τριάς ελέησον ημάς, Κύριε Ιλάστη της αμαρτίας ημών. Δέσποτα συγχώρησον τα ανομία ημίν. Άγιε επίσηψε και ίες τας ασθενείας ημών ένικεν του ονόματό σου. Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι και νυν και αή και στους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Πάτερη μόνο εν της ουρανής, αγιαστείτε το όνομά σου. Ελθέ του η Βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου, ω εν ουρανό και επί τη γη. Τον άρτων ημών των επιούσιων δόση μην σήμερον, και άφεση μην τα οφελήματα ημών, ω και μη αφήμε τι οφελέτε ημών. Και μη εις ενέγγυση μα ει πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε ημά από του πονηρού. Ότι σου έστειν η Βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του Πατρό και του Ιού του Πνεύματο, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Σώσον κύριε των λαών σου και ευλόγησον την κληρονομία σου, νίκα στι βασιλεύσει κατά βαρβάρων τορούμενο και τόσων φυλάτων δια του σταυρού σου πολίτευμα. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ our God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon for peace and an invincible standard. Και νυν και αή και στου αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Προστασία φοβερά και ακατέσχεται μη παρήδη αγαθήτα σε και εσύ εσύ μόνο πανίμητε Θεοτόκε. Στήριξε των Ορθοδόξων πολιτείων, σώζε ούσε και έλασο σα ηλεύει. Και χορήγει αυτή σου ουρανόθεν την νίκη. Διότι έτσι και στον Θεό μόνη ευλογημένη. Λέει στον ημά ο Θεό κατά το μεγαλαιό σου, Δεό μεθά σου επάκουσαν και λέει στον. Κύριε λέει στον, κύριε λέει στον, κύριε λέει στον. Κάτι δω μεθά υπέρ των ευσεβών και ορθοδόξων χριστιανών. Κύριε λέει στον, κύριε λέει στον, κύριε λέει στον. Κάτι δω μεθά υπέρ του αρχιεπισκόπου ημών Αθαναήλ και πάσα Χριστό ημών αδελφότητο. Κύριε λέει στον, κύριε λέει στον, κύριε λέει στον. Ότι λέει ημών και φιλάνθρωπο Θεό υπάρχει και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν το πατρί και το ιό και το ιό Μα την ίν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν εν ονόματι κυρίου ευλόγησον φάτε. Δόξα τη Αγία και ομοσίω και ζώπιο και αδιαιρέτω τριάδι. Πάντοτε νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Δόξα εν ύψη Θεό και επηγή ειρήνη να τρώπει σε δοκία. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace good will to men. Δόξα νυψή σου Θεό και επηγή ειρήνη να τρώπει σε ευδοκία. Κύριε, τα χείλη μου ανοίξει και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ενεσύ σου. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me? Many are those who rise up against me. Many who say to me, There is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I laid down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all those who without cause have hated me. You have shattered the teeth of sinners. This deliverance is the Lord's upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. Ουκ στην ίαση εν τη αρκή μου απροσώπου τη οργή σου, ουκ στην ειρήνη εν τη σωστέ μου από προσώπου των αμαρτιών μου. Ό,τι εν ανομία μου υπερήραν την κεφαλή μου, εσύ φορτίον βαρύ ευαρύθησαν επ' εμέ. Προσέδουσαν και σάπισαν οι μολεπέ μου από προσώπου τη αφροσύνη μου, και τα λεπόρισα και κατεκάφθη ω τέλο όλη την ημέρα σκυθροπάζων επορευόμη. Ότι εψώμου με εμπλήθησαν εμπεγμάτων, και ουκ στην ίαση εν τη αρκή μου, εκακόθην και ταπεινώθην ω φόδρα οριόμην από στεναγμού τη καρδία μου. Κύριε, εναντίον σου πάσα επιθυμία μου και ο στεναγμό μου από σου καπεκρύβει. Η καρδία με ταράχτη και κατελειπέ με ισχύ μου και το φω των οφθαλμών μου και αυτό ουκ έστειν με τεμού. Οι φίλοι μου και η πλησία μου εξαναντίον μου ήγκυσαν και έστεισαν και εγκυστά μου από μακρόθεν έστεισαν. 
και εξαβιάζοντα ει τούτη στην ψυχή μου, και ζητούντα τα κακά μη ελάλη σαρματιότητα και δολιότητα όλη την ημέρα να μελέτησαν. Εγώ δε σκοφό σου κήκον και όσοι άλλα δε σου κανείγω το στόμα αυτού, και γενόμενο οι άνθρωποι σου κακούν και ούκα έχουν το στόμα τη αυτού ελεγμού. Ό,τι επισή κύριε ήλπη σα εσεί ακούσει κύριο Θεό μου, ότι είπαν μήποτε επιχωρήσει η εχθρή μου και να το σαλευτεί νεπόδα μου επε με μεγάλο ρημόνισαν. Ότι εγώ ει μάστιγα έτοιμο και οι αλγιδό με ενωπιών μου στη διαπαντό. Ό,τι την ανομία με εγώ αναγκελώ και με ρημνήσω υπέρ τη αμαρτία μου. Η δε εχθρή μου σώζει και κρατεώνεται υπέρ εμέ και εμπλήθησαν οι μισούδε με αδίκω. Οι ανταποδίδωτέ μη κακά αντιαγαθών εν διαβάλαμε πει κατά δύο καναγαδοσύνη. Μη καταλήψουμε, κύριο Θεό μου, μη αποστή από μου πρόσκληση βοηθιά μου, κύριε τη σωτηρία μου. Μη καταλήψουμε, κύριο Θεό μου, μη αποστή από μου πρόσκληση βοηθιά μου, κύριε τη σωτηρία μου. Ο God, my God, at dawn I rise to you, my soul has thirsted for you, and my flesh has hungered for you like a desolate and trackless land that has no water. So did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choicest fare and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay in my couch, I remembered you, I meditated on you throughout the early watches that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who saw my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God and all who swear by him shall glory for the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you and your right hand holds me up. Alleluia, 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 Doxus, O Theos. Alleluia, 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 Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 Doxus, O Theos. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Doxa Patri, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Doxa Patri, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. 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 Εγενήθην ω άνθρωπο αβοήθητο σε νεκρή ελεύθερο, ω ή τραυματίε καθεδεύοντα εν τάφο, ούν εκμνηστή έντι και αυτή εκ τη χειρό σου απόστησαν. Εθεντόμεν λάκο κατά τάτων σκοτεινή και εν σκιά στο θανάτου, επεμέ επιστηρίχθη θυμό σου και πάντα στου μετορισμού σου επήγαγε σε πεμέ. Εμάκρυνε του μισθού από μου και εθεντόμη φθέλημα ευθύ, παρεδόθην και ουκ εξυπορευόμην, οι αφθαλμοί μου ισθένησαν από πτωχίε. Εκέκραξα προσε κύριε όλη την ημέρα διαπέτα προ έντα σχήρα μου. Μη τη νεκρή πηγή στα μάσια για τρία αναστήσει σου και εξομολογήσω δέση. Μη διηγήσετε τη στον τάφο τελεό σου και την αληθιά σου ενδιαπολία. Μη γνωστήσετε την τοσκότητα θαυμασιά σου και δικαιοσύνη σου εγγύη επιλεγισμένη. Καγό προσε, κύριε, και έκραξα και το πρωί η προσευχή μου προφθάισε. Ή να τι, κύριε, αποθεί την ψυχή μου, αποστρέψει το πρόσωπό σου από μου. Το χώσει με εγώ και εν κόπη σε εκνέτε το όσμο υψωθεί για ταπεινώθην και εξυπορήθην. Επεμέδη ήρθαν οι οργέ σου, οι φοβερισμοί σου εξεταραξάμε. Εκύκλωσάμε ω ιδρώ όλη την ημέρα, περιοσκόμε άμα. Εμάκρυνε από μου φίλων και πλησίων και του γνωστού μου από τα λεπορίε. Κύριο Θεό, ο τυρίο μου ημέρα σε κέκραξα και ανοιχτή εναντίον σου. Ισελθέτων, ω η προσευχή μου, κλείνω το σώμα στην δεησή μου. Bless the Lord, O my soul, me all that is in me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known His ways to Moses and His will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will His anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does He repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far has the Lord extended His love for those who fear Him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has He removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear Him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we are only made of dust. A man, his days resemble grass as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity unto all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven over all things, his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you as angels, you strong and mighty ones, who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you His powers, His attendants who obey His will. Bless the Lord, all you His works in every place of His dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of His dominion. Κύριε, σάκουσα τις προσευχές μου ενώ τις αντιδεσίμεν διαλυθίες. Σάκουσα με δικαιοσύνη σου και μη σέλθεις κρίση μετά του δούλου σου. 
ότι ούτε και ο Θεή δεν ποιό σου παζώνω, ότι κατεδίωξε ο εχθρό την ψυχή μου, και ταπείνωσε ει γη τη ζωή μου. Και καθισέ με ένα σκοτεινή ω νεκρού αιώνο, και ακηδία σαν επεμέ το πνεύμα μου, ενε μία ταράχτη η καρδία μου. Εμνίστη ημερών αρχαίων εμελέτη σαν υπάσει τη έργη σου, εν ποιήμα ει των χειρό σου εμελέτων. Διαπέτασα προ τα σχήρα μου η ψυχή μου ω γη ενηδρώση. Ταχύ ακουσό μου, κύριε, εξέλιπε το πνεύμα μου, μια αποστρέψη το προσωπό σου από μου και με ιωθίζω με τι καταβαίνουσε ει λάκων. Ακουστών ποιησό μου το πρωί το λεό σου ότι επισύλπησα. Γνωρισό μου, κύριε, οδόν εν υπορέψω με την προσεήρα την ψυχή μου. Εξολούμαι εκ των εχθρών μου, κύριε, ότι προσεκατέφυγον, διδαξό με το ποιητό θέλημά σου ότι είσαι ο Θεό μου. Το πνεύμα στο καθοδική σου με γη ευθεία, ένα και το όνοματό σου, κύριε, ζήσει με. Εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου εξάψει εκπλήσεω την ψυχή μου και εν το ελέη σου εξολοθρεύει του εχθρού μου. Και απολύ πάντα στου λίγοντα την ψυχή μου ότι εγώ δούλο σου ημί. Ισάκουσα μου, κύριε, τη δικαιοσύνη σου και μη είσαι θέση κρίση μετά του δούλου σου. Ισάκουσα μου, κύριε, τη δικαιοσύνη σου και μη είσαι θέση κρίση μετά του δούλου σου. Το πνεύμα στο αγαθό οδηγεί σε μεγή ευθεία. Δόξα πατρίκια, ιό και αγιο πνεύμα, τη καινή και αίκη σου όνα στον αιώνα να μην. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Η ελπίση μου, κύριε, δόξα σε. Εν ειρήνη του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν, με τη άνωθεν ειρήνη και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών, την κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν, πέρ τη ειρήνη του σύμπαντο κόσμου, ευσταθία των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και τη το πάντων ενώσεω, την κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν, πέρ του Αγίου Οικοτούτου και το μεταπίστεω ευλαβία και φόβο θα ισιώνταν εν αυτό του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Χάρη των ευσεβών και ορθοδόξων χριστιανών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Φέρ του Αρχιεπισκόπου ημών Αθαναίου του Τιμίου Πρεσβυταρίου τη Αχριστό Διακονία, παντό του κλήρου και του λαού του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. For our country, the president, for those in public service and the armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, and all those who have been afflicted by the war in Ukraine and Russia, let us pray to the Lord. So that we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brothers and sisters, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the nurses, the medical Workers and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. On the love of so son eleison, ke dia filak son imas o theos ti sicharity. Τη Παναγία Αχράντου, υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δεσπίνη Σιμών Θεοτόκο και Αϊπαρθάνου Μαρία, με τα πάντα των Αγίων Μνημονεύσαντε, εαυτού και αλληλού και πάσα την ζωή ημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Ό,τι πρέπει, εσύ πάσα δόξα, τιμή και προσκύνηση, το πατρί και το ιό και το ιό πνεύματι, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Ανανες, Θεός Κύριος και επέφανεν ημίν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Εξομολογήστε το Κυρίο και επικαλείστε το όνομα του Άγιον Αυτού, Θεός Κύριος και επέφανεν ημίν, Ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. All the nations surrounding me, but in the name of the Lord, I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Παρακυρίου έγινε το αύτη και εσύ θα μας τη ενωφθαλμίσιμον. Θεός Κύριος και επέφανε νημήν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Του λήθους φραγιστέντος υπό τον Ιουδαίον και στρατιώτων φυλασσόντων το άχραντον σου σώμα, ανέστης τριήμερος σωτήρ, δωρούμενος το κόσμο την ζωήν. Δια τούτο εδυνάμεις των ουρανών ευώων συζωδότα. Δόξα τη Αναστάση Σου Χριστέ, δόξα τη Βασιλεία Σου, δόξα τη οικονομία Σου μόνε φιλάνθρωπε. Δόξα Πατρίκαιο και Γιοπνεύματι, 
εν σημήτηρα ακριβώς διεσώθη το κατοικόνα. Λαβούσα γάρτο σαυρών οικολούθησα στο Χριστό και πράττουσα εδίδασκες. Υπερόραν με σαρκός παρέχεται γάρ επιμελείστε δε ψυχής, πράγματος αθανάτου. Διό και μετά αγγέλων συναγάλετε, Οσία Μαρία το πνεύμα σου. Και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν, Ο Δήμας γεννηθείς εκ παρθένου και σταύρος συνυπομείνας αγάθε, Ο θάνατο των θάνατων σκυλεύσας και γερσιν δείξας ως Θεός, Μη παρήδησους έπλασας τη χείρη σου, Δείξον την φιλανθρωπία σου ελεήμων, δέξε την δεκούσαν σε θεοτόκον, πρεσβεύουσαν υπερημών, και σώσον σωτήριμον λαόν απεγνωσμένο. Έτσι και έτσι είναι η ειρήνη του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν, Κύριε Λέησον, αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός, Τη η χάρη τη Παναγία Αχράντου υπερευλογημένη εν δόξο, δεσπίνη ημών Θεοτόκου και Αϊπαρθάνου Μαρία. Με τα πάντα των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε, εαυτού και αλλήλου και πάσα την ζωή ημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Συγκύριε. Ότι σών το κράτο και σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του ιού πνεύματο. Νην και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Ναι. Τον τάφον σου σωτήρ στρατιώτε τηρούντε νεκροί τη αστραπή του οφθέντο αγγέλου. Εγένον το κυρί των τόσ γυναίξη την ανάσταση. Σε δοξάζομεν τον τη φορά καθερέτην. Σι προσπίπτω μεν το αναστάντη εκ τάφου και μόνο Θεό ημών. Δόξα Πατρή και Υιό και Υιό Πνεύματι, Σταυρό προσήλωθείς, Εκουσίως ηκτήρμων, Εν μνήματι τεθείς, Ως νητός οδότα, Το κράτος συνέτριψας, Δυνατέ το θανάτο σου, σε γαρεφρίξαν οι πυλωροί του άδου, στη συνήγυρα του απεώνω, αισθανώντα ω μόνο φιλάνθρωπο. Και νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων, αμήν. Του Γαβρίλ θενξαμένου ή παρθένε το χέρε. Συντηφωνίε αρκούτο των όλων δεσπότη. Εν σύτη Αγία Χιβωτό, ως έφυο δίκαιος Δαβίδ, εδείχθης πλάτη τέρα των ουρανών, βαστάσασα τον γκτίστην σου, δόξα το ενικήσαν τη εν σύ, δόξα το προερθόν τη εξού, δόξα το ελευθερώσαν τη μας διά του τόκου σου. Γυναίκες προς το μνήμα παραγένετο όρθριε και αγγελική νοπτασίαν θεασάμενοι έτρεμον ο τάφος εξίστραπε ζωήν το θάμα κατέπληται να φθάς διά τούτο απελθούσε τις μαθητές σε κήρυτον την έγερσιν τον άδεινε σκύλευσας Χριστός, ως μόνος κρατεός και δύνατος, και φθαρέντας συνήγυρες πάντες, το την σκατακρίσε ως φόβον λύσε δυνάμι σταυρού. Δόξα Πατρή και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι, εν το σταυρό προσιλώθεις η ζωή των απάντων, και νεκρής λογιστής ο αθάνατος Κύριος, Ανέστη τρίμερο σωτήρ και η γύρα σα δάμεκτη τώρα. Δια τούτο εδυνάμει στον ουρανό νευόν. Συζωδότα 
Δόξα τη Ισπαθή μα η Χριστέ, Δόξα τη Αναστάση σου, Δόξα τη Συγκαταβάση σου, Μόνε φιλάνθρωπε. Και νυν και αίκη σαν στον αιώνα να μην Μαρία το σεπτόν του δεσπότου δοχείων. Ανάστησον ημάς πέπτω κότας εις κάος, δινείς από γνώσεως και πτεσμάτων και θλίψεων, σιγαρπέφικας αμαρτωλών σωτηρία και βοήθεια και κρατεά προστασία και σώζει στους δούλους σου. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου, τον Αγγέλον ο Δήμος κάτε πλάγι ορών σε νεκρής λογιστέντα, του θανάτου δε σωτήρ την ισχύν καθελόντα, και εσύ ναι αυτό τον αδάμε γύραντα, και εξάδου πάντα σε ελευθερώσαντα. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου, τη τα μοίρα συμπαθώς της δάκρυς είναι ο μαθήτριε κυρνάτε, ο αστράπτων εν το τάφο άγγελος προσευθέν και τότες μυροφόρης, είδετε ημείς των τάφων και είστητε, ο Σωτήργαρ εξανέστη του μνήματος. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου, λίαν πρωί μυροφορή έδραμον προς το μνήμα σου θρηνολογούσε, αλλά πέστη προς αυτάς ο άγγελος και είπε, Φρινού ο καιρό πεπαυτέ μη κλέτε, την ανάσταση δε αποστολή είπατε. Ευλογητό η κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου. Μυροφόδη γυναίκε με τα μύρων ελθούσε προ το μνήμα σου. Σωτερένι χούντο αγγέλου τρανό. Προ αυτά στενκομένου, τι με τα νεκρόν των ζώων τα λογίζεστε, ώστε ω γαρέξανε στη του μνήματο. Δόξα πατρί και ιό και αγίο πνεύματι, προσκυνούμεν πατέρα και τον τούτου ιόντε και το αγίον πνεύμα, την αγία τριάδα. Εν μία τη ουσία, συν τη Σεραφείμ κράζονται στο Άγιος, Άγιος, Άγιος η Κύριε. Και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν, ζωδό την τεκούσα ελιτρός ο Παρθένε τον Αδάμ αμαρτίας, χαρμονήν δε τη ευαντιλήπης παρέσκες, Ρεύσαν τα ζωή σύθινε προς τα δε, ο εξούσαν κοθείς Θεός και άνθρωπος. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα Συ ο Θεός. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα Συ ο Θεός. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα Συ ο Θεός. Ε, τι είναι η ειρήνη του Κυρίου Δεϊθώμαν, Κύριε Ελέησον, αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός, τη συγχάρητη, Κύριε Ελέησον, της Παναγίας αχράντου υπεραυλογημένης εν δόξο, δεσπίνης ημών Θεοτόκου και υπαρθάνου Μαρίας, με τα πάνω των Αγίων πλημονεύσαντες, ε αυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσα την ζωήν ημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Συγκύριε. Ότι ευλογητέ σου το όνομα και το δοξαστέ σου η βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Υιού Πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Η του λιστού μετάνοια των παράδεισων εσύλισεν, ο δε θρήνος των μυροφόρων τη χαράνε μείνησε, ότι ανέστη Χριστέ ο Θεός, 
παρέχον το κόσμο το Μέγα Έλεος. Ωνανες, εν το θλίβεστε με εις ακουσόν μου τον οδυνόν, Κύριε Συκράζο. Της ερημικής απαυθός ο Θείος πόθος γίνεται κοσμούς Ιου Μαθαίου εκτός. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι και νυν και αή και σώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Αγίο Πνεύματι τιμή και δόξα ως περπατρή πρέπει άμα και Υιό διά του το άσωμεν τη τριά δημονοκρατορία. Εις τα όρη των σών υψώσας με νόμων Αρετές εν κλάμπρινον, ο Θεός είναι αϊμνώσε. Δεξιά σου, Χύρι, λαβών συλλόγε, φύλαξον με φρούρισον, μη πήρ με φλέξη της αμαρτίας. Δόξα, Πατρί και Υιό και Αγιο Πνεύματι, και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνες των αιώνων, αμήν. Αγιο Πνεύματι, πάσα η κτήσης και ενουργείτε, Παλιν ο δρομούσα εις το πρώτον, εις το στενές γαρές τη πατρή και λόγο. Επί της ηρικός ημιοδεύσομεν εις τα σαυλάς του Κυρίου, εφράνθη μου το πνεύμα συγχαίρει η καρδία. Επί οίκον Δαβίδ φόβος μέγας, εκεί γαρθρώνον εκτεθέν των κρυθήσον, τε άπασε η φιλέ της γης και γλώσσε. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι, και ειν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν. Αγίο Πνεύματι, τιμήν προσκύνησιν δόξαν και κράτος, ως πατρίτε άξιον και το ιώδη προσφέρειν, μονάς γαρεστήν η τριάς, τη φύση αλλού προσώπης. Νην αναστήσω με λέγει Κυρίως, θύσω με εν σωτηρίο παρησιάσω με εν αυτό. Νην αναστήσω με λέγει Κυρίως, θύσω με εν σωτηρίο παρησιάσω με εν αυτό. The words of the Lord are pure words. Now I will arise, says the Lord, I will establish them in salvation. I will declare it boldly. Εξανέστη ο Θεός εκ του τάφου εν δόξη και κόσμος εν ανέστησας και η φύση στο βροντών ως Θεών σε ανήμνησε και θάνατος υφίστανται και Αδάμ χορεύει Δέσποτα και η Εύα νυν εκ των δεσμών λυτρουμένη, χαίρε κράζουσα, σύ ο πάση παρέχον Χριστέ την Ανάσταση. You arose from the sepulchral in glory as God, and with yourself resurrected the world, and mortal nature extolled you as God, and death was obliterated, and Adam is dancing, O Master, and Eve now redeemed from the bonds rejoices, crying out, O Christ, you are he who grants resurrection to all. Τον Αναστάντα τριήμερον ανηνήσομεν ως Θεόν παντοδύναμον, και πύλα του άδου συντρίψαντα και του απεώνω σε κτάφου εγείραντα. Μυροφόρη οφθέντα καθώ ευδόκησε, πρώτε τάφτε στο χαίρετε φύσα και αποστόλη χαράν μηνύων, ω μόνο ζωοδότη. Όθεν πίστη, οι γυναίκε μαθητέ σύμβολα νίκη ευαγγελίζονται, και άδει στενάζει και θάνατο οδύρεται, και κόσμο αγάλεται, και πάντε συγχαίρουση σίγαρ παρέσχε σπάση Χριστέ την ανάσταση. Let us extol as omnipotent God the one who rose on the third day and who smashed the gates of Hades, and who raised from the tomb those who were there from all time, and who was seen by the myrrh-bearing women as he so willed, uttering to them first of all the greeting rejoice, and to the apostles declaring the joy as the one giver of life. Therefore, in faith, the women announced to the disciples the tokens of victory, and Hades groans and death laments, and the world exalts, and all people rejoice together. For you, O Christ, are he who grants resurrection to all. Η πορνεία πρώτορα με μεστομένη παντεία Χριστού, νύμφη σήμερα τη μετανία εδέχτη, αγγέλων την πολιτεία ανεπιποθούσα, δαίμονα σταυρού το όπλο καταπατούσα, δια τούτου βασιλεία εφάνη νύμφη Μαρία ενένδοξε. You were once completely full of fornication of all kinds, but today you show yourself as a bride of Christ through repentance. Longingly you imitated the angel's lifestyle. With the cross being your weapon, you trampled demons. Therefore, glorious Saint Mary, you have appeared as a bride of heaven's realm. 
Την ανμάδα Χριστού και καθηγατέρα άσμα συνεφημούνε ζεσνήν, Μαρία Παναίδη με τη των Αιγυπτίων αναφανίσαν θρέμα την πλάνη. Δια τούτο πάσαν φυγούσαν και καλώ προσανοιχθήσαν τη Εκκλησία βλάστιμη τίμιων διεγκρατεία και δεήσεω, ασκήσασαν υπερμέτρων τη ανθρωπίνη φύσεω. Διότι υψώθησαν Χριστό διαβίου και πράξεω, Βασιλεία του Ρανού φανίσαν νύμφη Μαρία Πάνσεμνα. You of Christ and daughter, now in song we praise you. O Mary, most renowned, accounted the Egyptians nursling, but yet fleeing from their error, you were altogether offered as a seedling precious to the church. With self-control and supplication, you practiced asceticism beyond the measure of human nature. Therefore, you were exalted in Christ through way of life and practice. Glorious Saint Mary, you have appeared as a bride of heaven's realm. Τη δεκάτη του αυτού μηνό μνήμη των Αγίων Μαρτύρων, Περεντίου, Αφρικανού, Μαξίμου, Ομπιού και Ετέρων 306, έτη δε και των περίτων Μακάριων, Ζήνωνα και Αλέξανδρων και Θεόδωρων. On the tenth day of the month, we commemorate the holy martyrs Terence, Αφρικανός, Μαξίμος, Παμπέη, and another 36, and also those who with the blessed Zeno and Alexander and Theodore. Τη αυτή ημέρα μνήμη τη Αγία Προφήτηδο Ολδά. On this day, we also commemorate the holy prophetess Olda. Τι αυτή η μέρα εμνήμη των αγίων μαρτύρων Ιακώβου, Πρεσβυτέρου και Αζά διακόν. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyrs Ιάκωβος the priest and Αζάς the deacon. Ο Άγιος με ο μάρτυρς Δήμος, ο ενσμύρνη μαρτυρίσας κατά το έτος 1763 αξίφιτε λιούτε. The holy new martyr Δήμος, who witnessed in Smyrna in the year 1763, dies by the sword. Τι αυτή η μέρα εμνήμη των εναγίης πατρός Ιμών Γρηγορίου. Του πέμπτου του νέου ιερομάρτυρο Αρχιεπισκόπου Κωνσταντινού Πόλεω και Οικουμενικού Πατριάρχου, του Διαγχώνη Μαρτυρίσαντο Εναυτή κατά το έτο 1821. On this day we also commemorate our devout father among the saints Gregory V, the, the new ιερομάρτυρο, Archbishop of Constantinople and Ecumenical Patriarch, who witnessed by hanging in that city in the year 1821. Και αυτή η μέρα Κυριακή Πέμπτη των Ιστιών διατάχθη με μνήμη ποιήστε τη Σοσία Μητρό Ιμών Μαρία τη Αιγυπτία. On this day, the fifth Sunday of Lent, we have been enjoined to observe the memory of our devout father, our devout mother, Mary of Egypt. Her spirit is gone, the flesh long discarded. O earth, now hide the dead bones of Mary. By her inter intercessions, O God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Λέγετος, ανοίξω το στόμα μου και πληρωθήσετε πνεύματος και λόγον ερεύξω με τη βάσιλη Δημήτρη και οφθήσω με φεδρός πανηγυρίζον και ασογηθόμενο στα αυτή στα θαύματα. Του σου συμνολόγου θεωτώ και ο ζώο και αυτόν ω φυγή. Φίασαν συγκροτήσαντα πνευματικών στερεώσεων. Και εν τη θεία δόξη σου στεφάνων δόξη αξίωσον. Την ανεξιχνία στον θείαν βουλήν τη εκ τη Παρθένου Σαρκώσεως, Σου του υψίστου ο προφήτη Αβάκου. Κατά νόνε κράβγαζε, δόξα τη δυνάμη σου, Κύριε. Εξέστη στα σύμπαντα επί τη Θεία δόξη σου, σιγάρα πυρόγα με παρθένε, έσκεσεν μήτρα των επιπάντων θεών και τέ των κασάχρονων ιών, πάση τη συμνούσισε, Σωτηρίαν βραβεύοντα. Την φίαν ταύτην και πάντη μοντελούντε σε ορτίν οι θεόφρονες της θεομήτωρος. Δεύτε τα σχήρα σκροτήσωμεν, τον εξ αυτής τεχθέντα θεών δοξάζονται. Ουκε λάτρεψαν την κτίζιν οι θεόφρονες παρά τον κτίσαντα. Αλλά πυρό απειλή, Ανδρίω πατήσαντε, χαίροντε έψαλον. Υπερήμνητε, 
ο τον Πατέρον Κύριος και Θεός ευλογητώσι. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Πεδάς ευάγης εν δικαμίνο το κος της Θεοτόκου διεσώσατο τότε μεν τυπούμενος νυν δε ενεργούμενος. Την οικουμένη να πασαν να γυρυψαλούσαν τον Κύριον ημνήτε τα έργα και υπερυψούτε εις πάντας τους αιώνα. Αμήν. Κύριε Λέησον, Ότι Άγιος ο Θεός μόνο είσαι να πάμε και εσύ την δόξα να πέμπουμε το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Υιό πνεύμα την ίν και Άι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Πας απνοή εν εσάτω τον Κύριον. Πας απνοή εν εσάτω τον Κύριον. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. That we may be found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us entreat the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Sophia orti acusmento agiu evangeliu. Irini pasim. Que to pneuma ti isu. Ek tu kata ioanin agiu evangeliu don agnos ma. Pros homen. Doxa si kirie, doxa si. Usi sopsies ti mera kini ti mian tun sabatum. Και των θύρων και κλεισμένων όπου ήσαν οι μαθητέ συγκεκριμένοι δια των φόβων των Ιουδαίων, ήλθεν ο Ιησούς και έστει ει το μέσον και λέγει αυτή: Ειρήνη, ημίν. Και του του υπόν έδειξαν αυτή τα σχήρα και την πλευρά αυτού εχάρισαν οι μαθητέ. Ιδώντε των γυρίων. Ήπεν ούν αυτοίς ο Ιησούς πάλιν ειν 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 ειμήν, καθώς ο Πέσσαλ και με ο Πατήρ καγώ πέμπου ημάς, και του του υπόν ενεφίσησε και λέγει αυτοίς, «Λάβετε πνευμά Αγιον». Αν την οναφείτε τες ομαρτίες αφήνται αυτοίς, αν την ονκρατείτε και κράτηντε, «Θωμάς δε εις εκ των δωδεκαν ο λεγόμενος δίδυμος, ουκ ειν με ταυτόν ότι ήλθεν ο Ιησούς». Ελεγόν ουν αυτόν οι άλλοι μαθητέ, εωράκαμεν τον γύριον. Ο δε είπεν αυτοίς, εάν μη είδον εν τες χερσίς αυτόν τον τύπο των ήλων, και βάλον τον δάκτυλόν μου εις τον τύπο των ήλων, και βάλον την χειράν μου εις τον πλευράν αυτού, ου μη πιστεύσω. Και με τη μέρας οκτώ πάλιν ήσαν έσω οι μαθητέ αυτού, και θωμάς με ταυτόν, Έρχεται ο Ιησούς των δίνων και κλεισμένων και έστι εις των μέσων και είπεν «Ηρήνη ημίν». Ήτα λέγει το Θωμά «Φέρε τον δακλών σου όδε και είδε τα σχυράς μου και φέρε την χειράν σου και βάλε εις την πλευρά μου και μη γίνω απιστός αλλά απιστός». Και επεκριθή ο Θωμάς και είπεν αυτό «Ο Κυριός μου και ο Θεός μου». Λέγει αυτό ο Ιησούς, ότι ορακάς με πεπίστευκας, μακάρι μη δόντες και πιστεύσαντες. Πολλά μεν ουν και άλλα σημεία επίσεν ο Ιησούς ενώπιον των μαθητών αυτού. Α, ουκ έστιν γεγραμμένα εν το βιβλίο του τόμ, Τ' αυτά δε γέγραπτε ή να πιστεύσετε ότι ο Ιησούς εστίν ο Χριστός, ο Υιός του Θεού. Και ή να πιστεύοντες ζωήν έχει εν το όνομα τι αυτού. Ου, 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 ου,
δόξαση. Ανάσταση Χριστού Θεά, άμενη προσκυνήσουμε εν Άγιον Κύριον Ιησούν των μόνων αναμάρτητων. Των Σταυρών Σου Χριστέ προσκυνούμε και την Αγία Σου Ανάσταση νυμνούμε και δοξάζομεν. Σιγαρή Θεός ημών εκτός Σου άλλων ούκ είδαμεν το όνομά Σου ονομάζομεν. Δεύτε πάντες οι πιστοί προσκυνήσουμεν την του Χριστού Αγίαν Ανάσταση. Ιδού γαρίλθε δια του Σταυρού χαρά εν όλο το κόσμο. Δια παντός ευλογούντες των Κύριων νυμνούμεν την Ανάσταση αυτού. Σταυρών γάρ υπομήνες διημάς θανάτο θάνατον όλεσεν. Ναι, ελαήμον ελαήσον με ο Θεός κατά το μέγα ελαιό σου και κατά το πλήθος των ήκτυρμών σου εξάλειψον το ανομήμα μου. Επιπλήον πλήνομαι από της ανομίας μου και από της αμαρτίας μου καθάρισον με. Ότι την ανομία μου εγώ γινώσκω και η αμαρτία μου ενωπιών μου έστι διαπαντό. Σύμων ο ήμαρτων και το πονηρών ενωπιών σου επίσω, όπω αν δικαιωθήσε τη λόγη σου και νικήσει ενδοκρίνε θέσε. Η δούκα εν ανομίε συνελήφθην και εν αμαρτίε εκεί σε με η μύτη μου. Η δούκα ραλήθιαν η γάπη σα τα άδειλα και τα κρύφια τη σοφία σου έδηλωσά μη. Φραντίζμε ει όπω και καθαριστήσομαι. Πληνίσμε και υπερχιών αλευκανθίσομε. Ακουδίσμοι αγαλίασιν και εφροσύνη να αγαλιάσονται ως θέατε ταπεινωμένα. Απόστρεψον το πρόσωπον σου από τον αμαρτιόν μου και πάσα στα σανομίας μου εξάλειψον. Καρδίαν καθαραν κτίστον εν εμή ο Θεός και πνεύμα ευθες εγκαίνησον εν της εγκάτης μου. Μη απορρίψεις με από του προσώπου σου και το πνεύμα σου το Άγιον μη αντανέλεις απέ μου. Απόδοσμη την αγαλίασιν του σωτηρίου σου και πνεύμα τη γεμονικό στήριξον με. Διδάξω ανόμους τα σοδού σου και ασεβείς επί σε επιστρέψουσι. Χρήσε με εξαιμάτων ο Θεός, ο Θεός της σωτηρίας μου, αγαλιάσετε η γλώσσα μου την δικαιοσύνη σου. Κύριε τα χείλη μου ανοίξεις και το στόμα μου ανάγγελει την ένεσήν σου. Ότι η θέλη σας εις η ανέδοκαν ολοκαυτώματα ουκ ευδοκήσεις. Ισία το Θεό, πνεύμα συντετριμένον, καρδίαν συντετριμένην και τεταπεινωμένην ο Θεός που και εξουδενώσει. Αγάθινον Κύριε, εν τη ευδοκία σου της Υιών και οικοδομηθεί το τα τύχη Ιερουσαλή. Ο ευδοκίσεις της Υιών δικαιοσύνης, Αναφοράν και ολοκαυτώματα. Τότε ανίσουσι επί το θυσία στήριον σου μόσχους και ελεησόν με ο Θεός. Ναι, δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι της μετανοίας ανοίξον μη φυλαζόδωτα. Ορθρίζει γάρ το πνεύμα μου προς ναόν τον Αγίον σου να ον φέρον του σώματος όλων εσπυλωμένων. Άλλος ηκτήρμων καθαρών εσπλάχνωσου Τη 
σωτηρίας ευθύνων μη τρίβους θεοτόκε εσχρές γαρ κατερύπωσα την ψυχή να μαρτίες ως ραθίμος των βιών μου όλων εκδαπανίσας πέσες πρεσβείες ρίσε με πάσης ακαθασίας Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Taplithi ton be pragmenon me dinon and on o God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Uplift the strength of the Orthodox Christian. Send down upon us your abundant mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the prayers of the honorable bodiless heavenly powers of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy and glorious, praiseworthy apostles of our fathers among the saints, great ecumenical teachers, hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon the Trimethus, and Nectarius of Pentapolis, the wonder workers, the holy and glorious great martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Marably, Theodore of Tyre, and Theodore the Commander, Minas the wonder worker, Ephtherius and Haralem, both the holy priest martyrs, of the holy glorious great martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of the holy, glorious, victorious martyrs, of our venerable and godly ascetic fathers, of the holy, righteous ancestors, Joachim and Anna, of our devout mother, Mary of Egypt, whose memory we keep today, and of all your saints, we beseech you, the only most merciful Lord, listen to us sinners who pray to you, 
and have mercy on us. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. 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 Of ages. Amen. Honoring her with hymns, we magnify the Theotokos, the true mother of life. Λέγετος μεγαλύνει ψυχή μου τον Κύριον και γαλλίασε το πνεύμα μου επί το Θεό το σωτήρι μου την τιμή ο Θεραν τον Χερουβήμ και ενδοξότεραν ασυγκρίτως τον Σεραφήμ την άδεια θόρος Θεών λόγων τεκούσαν την όντως Θεό το κονσέ μεγαλύνομεν. Ότι επέβλεψεν επί την ταπείνωση της δούλης αυτού, η δουγάρα από του νυν μακαριούσι με πάσε γένε, την τιμή ο τέρα των χερουβήμ, και εν δόξο τέρα να συγκρίτως τον σεραφήμ, την άδεια φθόρος Θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως Θεό το κονσέ μεγαλύνομεν. He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Την τιμή ο τέραν τον χερουβήμ, και εν δοξό τέραν ασυγκρίτως τον σεραφήμ, την άδεια θόρος Θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως Θεό το κονσέ μεγαλύνομεν. Επίσε κράτος εν βραχίων οι αυτού, διεσκόρπισεν υπερηφάνους διανία καρδίας αυτών, την τιμή ο τέρα των χερουβήμ, και εν δόξο τέρα να συγκρίτως τον σεραφήμ, την άδεια φθόρος Θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως Θεό τόκον σε μεγαλύνομεν. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. In purity you gave birth to God the Logos. Truly you are the mother of God, you do we magnify. And the love of Israel, pedos of Tumnis, the Neleus, Kathos Elalis, a prostus patera Simon, to Abraham, and to Spermati, of Tueos Eonos. Την τιμή ο τέρα των χερουβήμ και εν δόξο τέρα να συγκρίτως τον σεραφήμ. Την άδεια φθόρος Θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως Θεό το κονσέ μεγαλύνομεν. Αφάς γηγενής κυρτάτο το πνεύμα τη λαμπάδουχουμενος, Πανηγύριζε το δε, αηλωνόν φύσης γερέρουσα, τα ιερά θαυμάσια της Θεομήτωρος, και βοά το χέρις παμακαρίστε, Θεό το και αγνή αϊπάρθενε. Etiketi in irini tu kiriu dei tomen. Kiri eleison. Andi labu soson eleison, ke di apilaxoni maso theos. 
τη συγχάρητη Κύριε Ελέησο της Παναγίας Αχράντου υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων νημονεύσαντες εαυτούς και αλληλούς και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών Χριστό το Θεό παρά το μέθα. Συγκύριε, ότι σε νους υπάσε δυνάμεις των ουρανών και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπωσή το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύματι νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Άγιος Κύριος ο Θεός ημών. Άγιος Κύριος ο Θεός ημών. Holy is the Lord our God, υψούτε Κύριον των Θεών ημών και προσκυνείτε το υποποδίο τον ποδόν αυτού. Ότι Άγιος εστί συγκεκλεισμένον δέσποτα των θυρών όσης ήλθες τους Αποστόλους έπλησας Πνεύματος Παναγίου, ειρηνικός έμφυσής σας, εις δεσμήν τεκελήν, τας αμαρτίας ειρικάς και οκτώ μεθημέρας στην συμπλευράν. Το Θωμά υπέδειξας και τα σχήρας με θουβόμεν Κύριος και Θεός υπάρχεις. Υποδείγμα μετανοίας σε χοντες πανωσία Μαρία Χριστόν δυσώπη, εν το καιρό της νηστείας, του το ημίρ γορηθήνε, όπως εν πίστη και πόθω, και ας μας συνεφημούμεν. Ο γλυκασμός των αγγέλων, των θλιβωμένων η χαρά, χριστιανών η προστάτη. Παρθένε μη τυρ Κυρίου, αντιλάβω μου κερίσε τον αιωνίον βασάνο. Σαπνοί ενεσάτο τον γυριον ενίτε τον γυριον εκτον κουρανον ενίτε α. Πα 
σε εδυνάμεις αυτού Συ πρέπει ύμνος το Θεό Του πείσεν αυτής κρυμά εγκρατών Δόξα αυτή έστε πάση της σωσής αυτού Υμνούμεν σου Χριστέ το σωτήριον πάθος και δοξάζομεν σου την Ανάσταση. Εν είτε αυτόν εν της Αγίης αυτού, εν είτε αυτόν εν στερεώματι της δυνάμεως αυτού, ο Σταυρών υπομείνας και των θάνατων καταργήσας και αναστάς εκ των νεκρών, Κυρίν ευσόν ημών τη ζωήν, Κύριε, ως μόνος παντοδύναμος. Praise Him for His mighty acts, praise Him according to the abundance of His greatness. You stripped Hades of plunder, and humanity you resurrected by your resurrection, O Christ. Do therefore now account us worthy with a pure heart to praise you and glorify. En ite afton, en ichos salvigos, en ite afton, en psaltirio ke kitharam, tin theo prepisu singatavas in doxazondes, imnumen se Christe, ετέχθης εκ παρθένου και αχωρητός υπήρχε στο πατρί, έπαθες ως άνθρωπος και εκουσίως υπέμεινας σταυρών, ανέστης εκ του τάφου ως εκ παστάδος παρελθόν, ή να σώσεις τον κόσμο, Κύριε, δόξα Συ. Λεάνες, εν είτε αυτόν εν την πάνω και χωρό, εν είτε αυτόν εν χορδές και οργάνων, σε μεν διεκόλυε, εις των σεπτών εποπτείας, μολυσμών των πρωτερών, το επισυρωμένον μη αντιρίων, η δεσίαισθησης και των σύθεόφρων, επραγμένων η συνείδησης την προς τα κρίτωνα, Συ επιστροφήν εν ηργάσατο, εικόν η γάρ προσβλέψασα της ευλογημένης Θεόπεδος, πάντων καταγνούσα πτεσμάτων σου πανεύθυ με τον πριν, εν παρησία το τίμιον ξύλον προσεκίνησα. Εν είτε αυτόν εν κυβάλλεις ευήγης, εν είτε αυτόν εν κυβάλλεις αλλαλαγμού, πάσα πνοή εν εσάτω των Κύριων, 
Σε με διεκόλλιε τη των σεπτών εποπτεία, μολυσμών των πρώτερων των επισηρώμενων μη αντιριών, είδε η αίσθηση και των συθεόφρων πεγραμμένων η συνείδηση την πρώτα κρίτοντα. Σι επιστροφή ενεργάσαντο, εικόνιγαρ προβλέψασαν τη ευλογημένη θεόπεδο. Πάντων καταγνούσα απ' τε μάτων σου πανέφη με το πριν. Εν παρησία το τίμιον ξύλων προσκενήσασα. I waited patiently for the Lord, and He heeded me, and He heard my supplication. After you had worshipped in the holy lands with rejoicing, therein also you received the salvific means for your road to excellence, and you ran earnestly the fine way of virtue, having crossed the Jordan's river streams unhesitatingly, you began your residence in the place where John the Baptist lived before, and by your ascetical way of life, You subdued the passions, ferociousness with confidence, O saint, and carnal throbbings you minimized, mother ever memorable. Και έστει σε να πει πέτρα του πόδων μου και τα πίθη τα διαβήματά μου. Ερημονική σα των σων παθώντα εικόνα. Εψεβό απίλαψα το Θεό σύστα τον εξοικονισμά. Εν ψυχρή ψυχή γράψα σαν αρετών ιδέε και το σου τον υπερέλαμψα. Ως και τη σύνδαση κούφος επιβαίνειν τη σύχνεσιν και γήθεν υπερέρεστε. Εν τες προς Θεό σου εν τε εύξεσιν και νυν παρησία πανένδοξε Μαρία το Χριστό παρισταμένη δυσόπισον Υπέρ των ψυχών ημών. Ανάς, δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύμα στην Βασιλεία του Θεού βρώσεις και πόσεις αλλά δικαιοσύνη και ασκήσεις συνάγει Τα 
Ike the Vida Prophetis Vida Ski Lagon Vika Oshanir O Leon O Lintin Imeran O Catatrifon to Pandon o shumi proskopsi taftade pandam prosnuthesi an himon Σαρκοθέντος, ο αδυσιχμαλότιστε, ο αδάμανα και εκλιτέ, η κατάρανε νεκροτέ, η Εύα ηλευθέρωτε, ο θάνατος τε θανάτοτε και ημίς εζωοποιηθημέν, διό ανυμνούντες βόμεν, Ευλογητός Χριστός ο Θεός ημών, ο ούτος ευδοκής σας δόξασή. Τον ονες δόξασή το δείξαντι το φως, δόξα εν ύψης της Θεό, και πηγή σιρήνη εν ανθρώπης ευδοκία. Ευλογούμεν σε, ευλογούμεν σε, Προσκυνούμεν σε, δοξολογούμεν σε, ευχαριστούμεν σε, διά την μεγάλη σου δόξα. Κύριε Βασιλέφε, πουρώνει εθέ, πάτε παντοκράτων, Κύριε, οι εμπονών γενές, Ιησού Χριστέ και Άγιον Πνεύμα. Ο αμνός του Θεού, ο Υιός του Πατρός, ο έρον την αμαρτία του κόσμου, ελέησον ημάς, ο έρον τας αμαρτίας του κόσμου. Πρόσδεξε την δέη συνήμων, ο καθήμενος εν δεξιά του Πατρός και ελέησον ημάς. Ότι σύ ημώνος Αγίος, σύ ημώνος Κύριος, Ιησούς Χριστός, εις δόξαν Θεού Πατρός αμήν. Κάθε κάς την ημέρα ευλογήσωσε, και ενέσω το όνομα σου εις τον αιώνα και εις τον αιώνα του αιώνος. Καταξίωσον Κύριε εν τη ημέρα τα αυτή, αν αμαρτή τους φυλαχθήνε ημάς. Ευλογήθως η Κύριε ο Θεός των Πατέρων ημών, 
Κενεκόν και δε δοξασμένον το όνομα σου εις τους αιώνας αμήν. Γέννητο Κύριε το έλεο σου εφημάς καθά περιλπίσαν μεν έπισε. Ευλογητό η κύριε, διδαξών με τα δικαιώματά σου. Ευλογητό η κύριε, διδαξών με τα δικαιώματά σου. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Κύριε, καταφύγει η γεννήθη σημή. Εν γενναία και γενναία εγώ είπα, Κύριε ελέησόν με, Ήασε την ψυχή μου ότι μαρτώνσι. Κύριε προσέκατε φύγον διδάξον με, Του πειν το θέλημά σου, ότι εσύ ο Θεός μου. Ότι παρασύ πηγή ζωή εν το φωτί σου ο ψώμεθα φω. Παρά την οντό ελεό σου τη γύρω σκούση σε αγίο ο Θεό, αγίο ισχυρό. Αγίος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Αγίος ο Θεός, Αγίος ισχυρός, Αγίος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Αγίος ο Θεός, Αγίος ισχυρός, Αγίος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Αγίος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Αγίος ο Θεός Αγίος ισχυρός, Αγίος αθανάτος. Ελέησον ημάς. Today salvation has come to pass in the world. Let us sing to him who resurrected from the tomb and is the author of our life. For destroying death by death, he gave us the victory and the great mercy. Evlogison Ευλογημένη Βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων, blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the heavenly peace, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the stability of God's holy churches, for the oneness of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who entered with faith, reverence and godly fear, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Nathaniel, the honorable priesthood, the deacons in Christ, and for all the clergy and all the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the president, for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. 
for the city and, and this parish and for every city and land and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For temperate weather, the abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the perils of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you belongs all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Ευλογη ψυχή μου τον Κύριον και πάντα τα εντός μου το όνομα το Άγιον Αυτού. Ευλόγη η ψυχή μου τον Κύριον και μη επιλανθάνου πάσα στα σάντα ποδόσεις αυτού. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Etiketi nirini tu kiriu dei tomen. Andi lavu soson eleison ke dia filakson imas o theos tisi hariti. Tis panagia sakrandu iper evlogi menis en doxu de spinisi mon theotoku ke ai parthenu. Marias, meta pandon ton agion, nimon efsandes, e aftus kalilus, ke pasantin zoinimon, Christo to theo parato methon. Ότι σον το κράτος και σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Άγιου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Εν η ψυχή μου των Κύριων εν έσω Κύριων τη ζωή μου, ψαλώ το Θεό μου εως υπάρχω. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. His hope is in the Lord his God. Save us from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Vasilevs i Kyrios i ston eona theosus ionis genean ke Oh, oh, oh. 
Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give up glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. This is the day the Lord made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. Blessed is the entrance of your saints, always now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Sophia, Orthi, Vafta Proski.
Na, na, ensimiter akrivoz li esothito katikona, lavus agar ton stavron ikoluthisas to Christo, ke pratusa edidas ke si peroran men sarkos, parerhete gar, Επιμελήστε δε ψυχής πράγματος αθανάτου, διό και με τα αγγέλων συναγάλετε, οσία Μαρία το πνεύμα σου. Remember, O Lord, as you are good, your servants, and forgive every sin they have committed in this life. For no one is sinless except you, who have power to grant rest to those who have fallen asleep. Προστασία των χριστιανών ακατέσχυντε με σιτία προς τον πίτι να μετάθετε μη παρήδεις αμαρτωλών δε αλλά προφάσον ως αγαθή εις την βοήθειαν ημών τον πιστός κραυγαζόντων συρταχυνών εις πρεσβείαν και σπεύσον εις οικεσίαν η προστατεύουσα η Θεό το και τον τιμών τον σε Κυρίου Δεϊθόμα For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. And unto the ages of ages. Holy God, you dwell among your saints, you're praised by the servant, who is holy him, and glorified by the chair, and worshiped by all the heavenly powers, who put all things out of nothing, and being you created man and woman in your image and likeness, and adorned with all the gifts of your grace, you give wisdom and understand the supplicant, and do not overlook the sinner, but have established repentance as the way of salvation. You have enabled us, your lowly and unworthy servants, stand at this harbor for the glory of your holy altar and to offer you due worship and praise. Master, accept the desire of the most from the lips of us sinners, and bid us in your goodness, forgive our voluntary and voluntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we worship in all ways in the days of our lives. By the intercession of the Holy Spirit, books and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal one, have mercy on us.
knows not what he does. Ευλογημένο ο αρχόμενο ο ονόματι κυρίου. Ευλογημένο ο αριθμό Βασιλεία ο καθήμο ο χεροβήμ. Πάντα τον νύχτα ή και ει του αιώνα τον άνομη. Δύναμη Άγιο ο Θεό. Άγιο ισχυρό. Ελέσον ημά. Σοφία προς Εβραίους επιστολής Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα Προσωμένος Αδελφοί, Χριστός παραγενόμενος αρχιερεύς των μελών των αγαθών διά της μίζωνος και, και τελειωτέρας σκηνής ου χειροποιήθου του τέστινου ταύτης της κτήσεως ουδέ διέματος Λέβαια, τράγων και μόσχων. Δια δε του ιδίου αίματος εις ήλθεν εφάπαξη στα Άγια, αιωνίαν λύτρος συνευράμενος. Ήγαρ το αίμα ταύρων και τράγων και σποδός, δαμάλεως ραντίζουσα τους και κοινωμένους, αγιάζει προς την της αρκός καθαρότητα πόσο μάλλον το αίμα του Χριστού ως διαπνεύματος αιωνίου εαυτόν προσύνεγγε νάμωμον το Θεό καθαρή την συνείδη συνειμών από νεκρών εργών εις το λατρεύειν Θεόζοντιν Let us be attentive. Make your vows to the Lord our God and perform them. God is known in Judah. His name is great in Israel. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation. He entered once for all into the holy place, taking not the blood of goats and calves, but his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls and with the ashes of a heifer sanctifies, for the purification of the flesh. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. <laughs> So 
θεία ακούσουμεν το Αγίου Ευαγγελίου. Ειρήνη πως η peace be with you all. Εκ του κατά Μάρκον, Αγίου Ευαγγελίου τον άγνωσμα. Πόσο μεν. Το καιρό εκείνο παραλαμβάνει ο Ιησούς τους δώδεκα μαθητές αυτού και ήξε αυτό αυτής λέγον τα μέλλοντα αυτό συμβαίνει, ότι ειδού αναβαίνομεν εις Ιεροσόλυμα και ο Υιός του ανθρώπου παραδοθήσετε της αρχιερεύση και γραμματεύση και κατακρινούσιν αυτόν θανάτο και παραδώσουσιν αυτόν της έθνεσιν και εμπέξουσιν αυτό και μαστιγώσουσιν αυτόν και εμπίστουσιν Αυτό και αποτεκνούσιν Αυτόν και τη τρίτη μέρα αναστήσετε και προσπορευόντων Αυτό Ιάκωβος και Ιωάννης οι Ζεβεδαίου λέγοντες διδάσκαλε θέλωμεν ή να ο εάν ετήσωμεν ποιήσεις ημίν ο δε είπεν αυτής τι θέλετε ποιήσε με ημίν ο δε είπων αυτό, δώσει μην ένα εις εκ δεξιών σου και εις εξ ευωνύμων σου καθίσωμεν εν τη δόξη σου. Ο δε Ιησούς είπεν αυτής, ουκ είδατε τι ετίστε, δίναστε πίν το ποτήριον ο εγώ πίνω και το βάπτισμα ο εγώ βαπτίζομαι βαπτιστήνε. Ή δε είπων αυτό, Δυνάμεθα, ο δε Ιησούς είπεν αυτής, το μεν ποτήριον ο εγώ πίνω πίεστε και το βάπτισμα ο εγώ βαπτίζομαι βαπτιστήστε. Το δε καθίσε δεξιόν μου και εξεβονίμων ου και στην εμόν δούνε, άλλης ητήμαστε. Και ακούσαντες οι δέκα, Ήξαν το αγανακτήν περί Ιακώβου και Ιωάννου. Ο δε Ιησούς προσκαλεσάμενος αυτούς λέγει αυτής, είδατε ότι οι δοκούντες άρχιν των εθνών, κατά κυριεύους είναι αυτόν, και οι μεγάλοι αυτών, κατ' εξουσία ζούς είναι αυτόν. Ουχ, ούτω δε στεν ημίν, Αλλώς αν θέλει γενέστε μέγας εν ημίν, έστε ημών διάκονος, και ως αν θέλει ημών γενέστε πρώτος, έστε πάντων δούλος. Και γάρο Υιός του ανθρώπου, όχι ήρθε διακονηθήνε, αλλά διακονή. Και δούνε την ψυχήν αυτό λίτρον αντί πολλό. From the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus, taking the twelve again, began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, "Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him to the Gentiles, and they will mock him and spit upon him and scourge him." and kill him. And after three days he will rise. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to him and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your glory. 
But Jesus said to them, you do not know what you are asking of me. Are you able to drink the cup of which I drink or to be baptized by the baptism with which I am baptized? And they said to him, we are able. And Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at the right hand or the left is not mine to grant, but it is for those whom it has been prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be indignant of James and John. And Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that those who are supposed to rule over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great men exercise authority over them. But it shall not be among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant. And whoever be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man also came not to be served, but to serve her, and to give his life as a ransom for many. That ever guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord God, you who have visited our lowliness and mercy and compassion. You have set us, your lowly, sinful, and unworthy servants, to serve at your holy altar before your holy glory. Strengthen us for the service of the power of the Holy Spirit and grant speech to our lips and may both the grace of the Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are about to be offered. No one bound by really desires and pleasure will approach to our nearer midst of the King of glory and to serve you as great and awesome of the heavenly powers that because of your ineffable measurable love for, man, for us you became man without alteration or change. You served as our high priest and as Lord of all and have entrusted to us the celebration of the liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things on heaven and earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your simple and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart for evil conscience and save over the power of your Holy Spirit, so vessel with the grace of the priesthood, and may stand before the holy table and celebrate the mystery of your pure body and your precious blood. For to you I come with bowed head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor redeem me from among your children, but make me your simple and unworthy servant, with it offer you these gifts. For you, Christ our God, are the offer and the offer, the one who receives and distributes, O Christ our God, and to we give glory together, beginning this Father, and your holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of the Ages. Amen. Ita che avevi visto i cosi con Nisun da scritti zobi o triadi o trisagi o nimprosavi da spasi per di chi ne ha fatto fatto fare in nano. Questo va su vero non lo ne posizioni il testo anche le che sono rato in tori forum non taxa sin alleluia alleluia alleluia. We who must represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to life creating Trinity. Let us say, set aside all worldly cares. So we may receive the King of all invisibly escorted by the angelic host. Hallelujah. We who mystically represent the cherubim and the sing the thrice holy unto the life giving Trinity, let us set aside all worldly so cares. We may receive the King of all invisibly escorted by the angelic host. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Lift up, Master. To the ages of ages. Ο ευσχήμενο ή του ψηλού καθαλών των άχρων των σου σώμα, συντώνει καθαλή σα και ρώμα. Η μνήματα κοινό και δεύσα απέθετο. Αγάθινον κύριε, εν τη ευδοκία σου την σιών. Και οικοδομηθεί το τα τείχη Ιουρουσαλήμ. Τότε ευδοκίσει τη σιά δικαιοσύνη. Σαν αφοράν και ολοκαυτώματα. Τότε αν ίσω είναι επιτοθεί η αστήριο σου μόσχο. Και λέει σον με θεό. Τότε αν ίσω είναι επιτοθεί η αστήριο σου μόσχο. Και λέει σον με θεό. Remember me, brother, and come and sell our friend. May the Lord remember your priesthood in this kingdom now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Pray for me, Holy Master. The power of the Most High will overshadow you, and the Holy Spirit will guide and protect you. May that same spirit coat some celebrate with us all the days of our life. Remember me, Holy Master. May the Lord our God remember your deck in this heavenly kingdom always now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. I don't care whatever they want. That's what we either at the end of the service or before uh, communion. For the precious yeah. gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our God, you created us and brought us into life. You've shown us the way to salvation and bestowed upon us the revelation of heavenly mysteries. You've pointed us to the service by the power of the Holy Spirit. This holy and house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Spiritual sacrifice, that shedding blood for our sins and for our transgressions, for people grant that heaven accept the sacrifice, holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Sacrifice and all the burnt offerings of Abraham, the priest of Moses, and Aaron, the peace offerings of Samuel, as he accepted this true worship from your holy apostles, have also your good Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. 
Master, Lord our God, worshipful Father, one is truly just and right, the majesty of holiness, the praise you to him, you to bless you, worship you, give thanks to you, to glorify 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 you, to gl
I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand all right. Let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Comentas cardias. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Singing, exclaiming, proclaiming the triumphal hymn, and saying, humankind, becoming carnal from holy virgin up to himself, taking the form of a servant, conforming to the body of our Lord, that he might change us in the likeness of the image of his glory. For since through all man's sin came into the world, and through sin, death, that please your only begotten Son, who is in your bosom, God and Father, born of a woman, the holy fellow, of a virgin, may born the law to condemn the sin in his flesh, and that those who died in Adam may be brought to life in him, you are your Christ. He lived in this world and gave us precepts of salvation, releasing from the delusions of idolatry. He got us to the sure knowledge of you, the true God, and probably acquired to us for himself as his chosen people, a real priesthood, a holy nation, having cleansed us by water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself as ransom to death, in which we were held captive, sold under sin, descending into Hades through the cross, that he might fill all things with himself. He loosed the bonds of death, he rose on the third day, having opened a path for the flesh, for the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible that the author of life would be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who fall asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he said, At the right hand of your majesty on high, and will come to render to each according to his works. As memorials of a saving passion, he has left us these gifts which he have set forth before that is voluntary and ever memorable and life-giving death in the night in which you delivered up for the life of the world he took bread in his holy and pure hands and presented to you, God and Father, and offering thanks, blessing, and sanctifying, he broke and breaking it. This remembrance we pray, this opportunity, this bread, and this cup, and proclaim my death, and you confess my resurrection, and for my master, us, remember my saving passion, life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection of the dead, ascension of heaven, and throne with the right hand, God and Father, his glorious and awesome second coming. Εδώ και τη αγίου αυτού μαθητέ και αποστολή υπόν. Λάβετε φάγετε το το μοέστη το σώμα. Το υπέριμον κλόμενον. Η σάφεση να μαρτιών. 
he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take ye, eat. this is my body, which is broken for you unto the remission of sin. Εδώ και τη αγίε αυτού μαθητέ και αποστολή υπόν. Πίετε εξ αυτού πάντα. Τούτο εστί το αίμα μου. Το τη καινή διαθήκη. Το υπερημόν και πολλών εκινόμενων. Η σοφέση. Amartion. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many unto the remission of sins. <coughs> Τα σόκτων σόν Συ προσφέρομεν Κατά πάντα και δια πάντα We offer you these gifts of your own Most holy master, we also your sinful and unworthy servants, whom you made worthy to serve at your holy altar, not because of our righteousness, for we have not done anything good upon this earth, but because of your mercy and compassion, which you have so richly poured upon us. We dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O holy of holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your holy spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts here presented to bless, sanctify, and make. O Theos, God mercy upon me, the sinner, and save me. O Theos, Master, the Holy Bread. And this bread to be the precious body of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Το έχιθαν υπες του κόσμου ζωής και σωτηρίας shed for the life and salvation of the world. Amen. 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 Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O God. And unite us all to one another who became partakers of the one bread and cup in the communion of the Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us may partake of your holy body and blood of your Christ to judgment or condemnation, but that we may find mercy and grace with all the saints who through the ages have pleased you, forefathers, fathers, preachers, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and every righteous spirit made perfect and in faith. Remember, O Lord, O Lord, our special meditation, waiting for truth, love, and 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 Press me to the agony of Christ, every word of the clergy, and do not become for one of any ones who stand about your holy altar. But with your goodness, Lord, manifest yourself to us. For your rich compassion, grant the seasonal weather, fruitful season, send gentle showers upon the earth, and may be fruit. Bless the crown of the year of your goodness, bring that schism in the church. Pacify the raging of the heathen, quickly set the uprising of the Pharisees by the power of the Holy Spirit, receive us all into your heavenly kingdom. Declare to the sons and daughters the light of the day. Grant us your peace and love, Lord our God, for you have given us all things. <laughs> Especially for our most holy, pure, <coughs> blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. <coughs> for St. John the Prophet, forerunner and baptist of the Holy Glorious and most praiseworthy apostles of our Holy Mother Mary of Egypt, of our Father among the Saints, Gregory V, Patriarch of Constantinople, the Ethno-Martyr, <coughs> and of our, our Righteous Father, Salvas of Kalimnos, 
whose memory we come to of all your saints through supplications, God, visit us where also all of us who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection to life eternal. All those we have commemorated the memorial service in Proscomidi today and grant them rest to our God where the light of your countenance shines. Again, we pray to you, be mindful of your holy Catholic and apostolic church, which is from one end of the inhabitant to the other. Grant peace to her, which you have attained with your precious blood of your Christ. Strengthen us also to this house and to the end, the end of the ages. Remember, Lord, those who have brought you these gifts and for whom and through whom and the intentions for which they were offered. Remember, O oh Lord, those who bear fruit in the good works in the holy churches, those who are remember the poor, reward them with your rich and heavenly gifts. Grant them in your return for earthly things, heavenly gifts, for temporal, eternal, for corruptible and corruptible. Remember, Lord, those who are in the deserts and mountains and caverns and the chambers of the earth. Remember, Lord, those living in chastity and godliness and asceticism and holiness of life. Remember, Lord, this country and all those in public service whom you have allowed to govern on earth. Grant the profound and lasting peace. Speak to their hearts good things concerning your church and all your people that through the faithful conduct of the duties we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Sustain the good and the goodness make the wicked good through your goodness. Remember, Lord, the people here represented and those who are absent with good cause. Have mercy on them and us according to the multitude of your mercy. Fill the treasure with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Nurture the infants. Instruct the youth. Strengthen the aged. Give courage to the faint-hearted. Reunite those separated. Bring back those in and Unite them through Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Defend the widows. Protect the orphans. Liberate the captives and protect those who've been afflicted by the war in Ukraine and Russia, heal the sick and all those who've been afflicted by the COVID-19 virus. Remember, Lord, those who are in mines and exile and harsh labor, those in every kind of affliction, necessity of distress, those who entreat your loving kindness, those who love us and those who hate us, those who have asked us to pray for them unworthy that we may be. Remember, Lord, our God, all your people, and pour your rich mercy upon them, granting them their petitions for salvation. Remember, God, all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or because of the multitude, since you know the name and age of each, each from their mother's womb. Tell them, tell them to later. You know the name and age of each from their mother's womb. For you, Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyage, and the physician of the sick. Be all things to all, and you know who each person has requested, his house and his need. Deliver this community and city, O Lord, in every city and town, from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil strife. Our God, the God who saves, teach us justly to thank you for the good things which you have done and still do for us. You are God who has accepted these gifts. Cleanse us from every defilement of flesh and spirit. Teach us how to live in holiness by your fear, so that receiving the portion of your holy gifts with a clear conscience we may be united with the holy body and blood of your Christ. Have we seen them worthy that we may have Christ dwelling in our hearts and become the temple of your Holy Spirit? Yes, our God. Let none of us be guilty before these, your awesome heavenly mysteries, nor be infirm of body and soul by partaking of them unworthily, but enable us even up to our last breath to receive a portion of the holy gifts worthily, provision for eternal life as an acceptable offense at the awesome judgment seat of your Christ, so that we all together with all the saints who through the ages of please you become partakers of eternal good things which you, Lord, have prepared for those who love you. <coughs> Among the first, remember, O Lord, our Archbishop Nathaniel. Grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each of us has in mind and all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable majestic name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. And the mercies of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, shall be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Master, the Father, For the precious Lord, gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them in his holy celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Que cataxios son y más déspota meta parisía sa catacritos, tol man epicalista, set un apuranion theon, patera y que legin. 
Πάτερ ημών, ο ενδύς αγιαστείτε το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου, ως εν ουρανώ και επί της γης, των άρτων ημών των επιούσιων, δώσει μην σήμερον, και άφεση μην τα οφειλήματα ημών, ως και εμείς αφίεμε τις οφειλέτες ημών, και εμείς ενέγγιση μας εις πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε ημάς από το πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and yours is the power and the glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Irene, peace be with you all. Τας κεφαλάσιμον το κύριο κλινομέν. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Cross, O oh man, let us be attentive. I the holy gifts are for the holy people of God. Portion master the holy bread. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken but not divided. He is forever and yet never consumed, but sanctifying those who partake. Jesus Christos Nika. Till Master the Holy Cup. The fullness of the cup of the Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless Master the Ziha. Ευλογή μένει η ζέση στον Αγίον σου πάντα τα νυν και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Please kneel. Buonatiste, paracalo. Dear friends, on your patero ni mon kiri su Christo teos eleison ke sosu ni mas. Dear friends, on your patero ni mon kiri su Christo teos eleison ke sosu ni mas. Dear friends, on your patero ni mon kiri su Christo teos eleison ke sosu ni mas. Διαφώντων οι πατέρων ημών, Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον ημάς. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Πιστεύω, Κύριε και ομολογώ, ότι εσύ αληθώς ο Χριστός, ο Υιός του κόσμου, ο αρθίος του κόσμου, 
Την πρώτο σημείο, εγώ πιστεύω ότι το αστυνομικό σώμα σου και το αυτό αστυνομικό σώμα σου δόμε όν σου ελέγχουμε και συγχωρήσουμε τα παραπτώματά μου. Τα ακούσια, τα ακούσια, τα λόγω, τα νερό, τα γνώση και αγνία και αξίω σών με ακατακρίτω με τα σύνδεχρα σου μυστηρίων τη άψη μαρτιών και ζωή την αιώνη να μην. I now approach all the communion creator, bring me down as a partake for your fire which brings in worthy cleanse me, Lord, from every sin. The Son of God rejoiced today the partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mysteries you me, nor will I give you a kiss as Judas, but like the thief I confess you remember me, Lord. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood as a burning coal that sears the unworthy body of God, both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have made me yearn for you, O Christ, and with your divine love you have changed me, burn away with spiritual fire my sins and make me worthy to be filled with the joy of you so I can rejoice in your goodness and magnify your two presences. How shall I, the unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints if I dare to enter the bridal chamber? My vesture will condemn me since it's not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul and save me. If you are the one who loves mankind and your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save Master me. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judge because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and dedication of both soul and body and for the pledge of the life and the kingdom to come. For it is good to me to cleave unto God in the place of the hope of my salvation. Receive me to you, O Santo God, for the of thy mystical feast. I will not speak of your mystery to your enemies. I will not kiss you as Judas. I will not like kiss you as Judas. I will confess you, Lord, remember me when you come your kingdom, O Master. In Christ, when please you come forgive me a kingdom, sinner. Well, Holy One, remember me when you come into your heavenly kingdom. Don't tell George to stand up. Let me tell you, Christ, on a ship, let me tell you, Christ, on a ship, let me tell you, Christ, on a ship, Έτοιμε ο Θεό με Χρήστον, εξύπρε βιθέρω τιμή και πανάγιον και ζωηρό νέμα του κυρίου και Θεού και σου θέλω ημών Ισού Χριστού, Ισάψη Μαρτιών και ζωή την αιώνιον, σαρμπατρό και του κυρίου πνεύματο. Αμήν. 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 Τότε ψηλά μου και φίλη τη ονομιά μου, ξαμαρτίω με την καθαρή. Τη ηρωσία σου βασίλει από πάνω τον νυν και έχει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. And this that have touched my lips, my iniquity shall be cleansed, and my sins taken away. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God. Master, give me Zahariah, the unworthy deacon, the body of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the remission of my sins and life everlasting. Amen. Kalimera, good morning. The church, my beloved brothers and sisters, for the last eight or so weeks has given us themes and challenges for us to understand what the preparation for the Passion for Holy Week and for the glorious resurrection is really all about. Now, Easter, of course, resurrection, is the core of our faith. It is the core and the center of all theology. And preparation, therefore, for Easter is extremely paramount in our identity as Christians, what it really means to be a Christian, how we should be acting, where, is, where are our goals as Christians, all depend and all focus on resurrection. So in the last five weeks, four weeks, today is the fifth week of Great Lent, some very distinct themes have been given to us. We've gone through them. The glory of orthodoxy on the Sunday of orthodoxy, showing us that our faith overcame even internal civil war, civil strife, and, and the iconoclastic controversy. Then it turns to the individual, St. Gregory of Palamas, the individual, a writer, a scholar, taking the talents that God has given him, that God gives all of us, and put them to use for the church, giving us some of the greatest theological treatises that we have in the church. 
And the third week, of course, being the exact center of Lent, like climbing a mountain, we see the cross at the top of the mountain and around the cross growing the first flowers of spring, the daffodils. That's why we pass out daffodils, showing us that no matter how cold, no matter how frozen the winter, no matter how deep and frozen our souls are, the warmth of spring is coming. We only need to look at the other side of the hill and look downhill to see the resurrection. And the fourth week, last week, is our climb to heaven. Our climb to heaven on the ladder of St. John of Klimakos. Yes, there are obstacles. Yes, there are problems, but the ladder gives us the opportunity to understand that there's something at the top, the important climb, no matter how difficult our lives may become, no matter how many of those obstacles we have to go through, no matter how many trying times like the crisis of the COVID-19 pandemic or the war that we now experience that pains us and that deflects us and that tries to distract us. The devil is very cunning. When we come out with a communion and we say, come receive the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, how many of us think in our minds, oh, you know, I'm not worthy of that. I can't commune because I have too many distractions in my life. The devil will give you those distractions. But when we give you communion, we say the servant of God has given the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and for life everlasting. We don't say the servant of God who's perfect receives the body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are all sinners. And indeed, understanding those issues of where we are in our lives bring us to understand the nature of the resurrection, the seriousness and the intensity of Holy Week on a personal level. But today, before the Passion begins, the Church gives us one more example, one more role model, and it's a very simple but intense one. It was about a young girl, her name was Mary, and this Mary was 13 years old when she turned away from her family and went to live in the streets and went to live a life of debauchery, one of prostitution and one of simple pleasures of life, giving her the joy that she thought she needed in her life. And then a very, very interesting development in her life, she came across this group of men who were going to travel to Jerusalem for a great celebration of the Holy Cross. And they were, they were going by boat from Egypt, because she was from Egypt, into Jerusalem. And she told them that she would pay for her ticket on this boat through her physical gifts to those men, because she lived that kind of life. So upon her arrival in Jerusalem, Mary made this really interesting decision as she followed this group that came from Egypt and brought her in front of the Church of the Resurrection. And as she went to enter the church, something stopped her. She could not enter the door. So she stood there, confused for a moment, decided to try again, and again she couldn't. And a third time, she couldn't enter. And as she looked up to, 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 as confused, she saw an icon of the Virgin Mary. And in one instant, she understood why she couldn't enter. Falling on her knees and repenting and asking for forgiveness of who she was because she saw her life in front of her in that instant. She tried again to enter and was allowed to enter into the Church of the Resurrection. Upon leaving the church, she went back to the icon of the Panagia, knelt before her, 
and thanked her and asked her for forgiveness. And a voice came upon her telling her, you are now to go into the desert. You are now to go to the monastery of St. John, right by the place on the Jordan River where Christ was baptized, and that's what she did. But she went, confessed everything that she had done, and yet received communion, but it wasn't good enough. Something was lacking. So she left, crossed the Jordan River, and went into the desert and became a hermit. And for many years she lived alone. For many years she sustained herself only on what she could find in the desert. But her spiritual needs grew and grew. The more intense her strife became in the desert, the more she understood the real essence of forgiveness and the real essence of redemption. So she came toward the monastery again on the other side of the Jordan River and encountered a very holy man named Zosimus. Zosimus, who was from the monastery, encountered this woman and she asked on her knees if he would confess her and if he would bless her. And he did. She told him her whole life. She told him what had happened and she told him how sorry she was and how important it was for her to receive communion one more time in her life. And she asked a very strange question to Zosimus. She says, would you come back here? Because it was right before Holy Week. Would you come back here next year at the end of Lent and bring me Holy Communion? And he said, I will, I will. So the next year, they both met at the same place and she received Holy Communion and Zosimus went back to the monastery, which was a long walk for him. But he went back to the monastery and then the next year, on the exact same date, he returned to the same place, not knowing if this holy woman, because he deemed her to be holy, would be there, and he found her dead on the ground. And he found her dead on the ground and began to dig and dig the grave because she had been dead for a year because in a dream, Zosimus realized and was told that Mary died that evening after he gave her communion the year before. And yet her body, even though she was very frail, her body was intact. It had not decayed. He buried her and left her and went back to the monastery. And in the monastery was a very holy man who later became patriarch of Constantinople, patriarch of Jerusalem, and his name was Sophronios. And Sophronios heard all that Zosimus had told about the story of Mary and who this holy woman really was. And he wrote down everything, and that's why we have her entire story because of this holy man, Zosimus. Uh, Zosimus and, of course, Sophronios, who wrote down and wrote this book about St. Mary of Egypt. This holy woman gives us one more opportunity, the last moment before the passion begins, before the sacrifice happens, before Holy Week ensues, the church gives us one more opportunity and tells us a very crucial statement that even in one instant, our confession will be accepted by God. His arms are open. St. John Chrysostom, in the, in the Paschal sermon that we read every year at the end of the liturgy of the Anastasy, says, even in the 11th hour, the feast is yours. All we need to do is turn our hearts, turn our minds, turn our spiritual guidance to Christ, asking him to direct us in our lives. Even in the 11th hour, the last instant, we are able to turn our lives around and be saved. The church gives us this final message this final opportunity to understand that even at the 11th hour, he's waiting for us. 
Even at the 11th hour, the Panagia is ready to hold us as her child and save us. Her prayers can save us. Indeed, the church gives us this last important example, role model, image, and message. You know why? It's very simple. Pascha, resurrection, and whether you want to say it's from darkness to light as we hold the candles on anastasy, whether we want to say it's evil to good, whether we want to say it's negative to positive, any of those issues, it's the same thing. It's our souls, it's our lives turning from no matter what the world tempts us with or turns our will toward, he's ready to receive us even at the very last moment. And that's what the message of today is because Pascha, my beloved brothers and sisters, is not a historical event. That issue, that part of it is minor. Pascha is our own resurrection, our own Pascha, going from one place to another, going from that negative to the positive. So no matter where you are in your lives, no matter what temptations you have succumbed to, no matter what negatives in your lives you are experiencing, the church gives you this opportunity through examples like St. Nectarios, like St. Nicholas, like St. Basil, and of course like St. Mary of Egypt, that the church, the early church fathers were very wise as the process of Holy Week and of Lent was evolving. They put the last message to be a simple and yet crucial message for us that in one instant our lives can change, we can be saved. I pray that this Holy Week will give you the strength needed in this difficult era in which we live in to understand the glory not only of the resurrection, but the glory of our passion, of what we have been given by God. Even those, those problems that we encounter in our lives help make us the people we are and the strength that we have inside spiritually. Go to your father confessor. Go to your priest. Come to the services. Spend that hour or two in church in peace so that you can look inward and feel that peace and feel that glory, which that resurrection is, that personal resurrection that you will experience not only in Pascha, but every time you walk through the doors of the church. Amen. <clears throat> We'd like to thank Father Chris Krahulis for his beautiful words today. For all those prepared to participate and partake in the precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we ask you to follow the directions of our Guild and Parish Council members who will direct you row by row to come up and receive Holy Communion. Please allow our children of our Sunday school, their staff, and their parents to come up first to receive Holy Communion, and then from there you'll be dismissed row by row. We have an extra blessing today in which we will also participate and witness the 40-day blessing of a beautiful child and their mother, and then from there offer Holy Communion. So please rise. Uh, si para calor. Oh, 40 day first. Why did they do that? <laughs> okay. okay, mom, hold the baby. Left it for that. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord God Almighty, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who by your word alone have created all rational and non-rational nature, and have brought everything out of nothing to being, we pray of you and ask of you, cleanse and protect this, your servant, whom by your will has preserved, she prepares to enter your holy church, so that she could continue to glorify your most majestic name. 
For you are good God, who loves mankind and to you. We ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And bless this child born from her, O Lord, and grant the growth, understanding, self-restraint, right thinking, for you brought into being and have shown it to the light of day, so that we become worthy to receive also the spiritual light at a time pleasing to you, and may be number among your holy flock through your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together your holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To thee, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, our God, within the incarnation of your only begotten Son, came down for the salvation of the human race. Come now upon this, your servant, and through the prayers of the honorable presbytery, make her worthy to find refuge in the holy church, grant her to enter the temple of her glory, and willing to partake of the completion of the forty days, to be found worthy to enter your holy church, and may glorify with us your all holy name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, our God, when the fortieth day after your birth were brought as a child to the temple of the law by your holy mother Mary, who knew no husband, were held in the arms of righteous Simeon. Do you, Almighty Master, bless this child brought before the Creator of all, and make it grow in every good work that is pleasing to you. Drive far from it every hostile power by the making the sign of your cross. For you are the one who guards the infants, O Lord. So have granted holy baptism and may attain a share in the kingdom reserved for your chosen ones and be guarded along with us by the grace of the holy and consubstantial divisible trinity. For to you belong all glory, thanksgiving, and worship. Together, begin this Father in your holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God, the Father Almighty, through the clear proclamation of your prophet Isaiah, you foretold to us the incarnation of a virgin, only begotten Son, and our God. In the last times, by your own choice, the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, and endless compassion, you consent to become an infant from her for the salvation of us mortals. In accordance with the custom of your holy law, for the completion of the days of purification, you consent to be in yourself the true lawgiver to be brought to the temple, and you submit to be held in the arms of righteous Simeon. This mystery is prefigured and may manifest to us in the vision of the prophet Isaiah, through the burning coal carried with tongs of this mystery, with this faithful imitated by grace. And now do the same Lord who guards all the infants. Bless this child together with his parents, his family, relatives, and loved ones, and at the appropriate time of rebirth by water and the Spirit, number him on the flock of reason and down sheep who are called by the name of your Christ. For you are the one who dwells on high and watch over the lowly, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I see you. I know. Εκκλησιάζε τε ο δούλο του Θεού, χάρη λαό, ει το όνομα του Πατρό και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματο. Αμήν. The servant of God, χάρη λαό, is brought within the church in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Αμήν. Εν μέσω εκκλησία ημίσω σε, εκκλησιάζε τε ο δούλο του Θεού, χάρη λαό. In the midst of the congregation, I will sing to you. The servant of God, Harilaos, is brought within the church in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope, Lord, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who was held in the arms of the righteous Simeon for our salvation, through the intercession of the most pure and holy mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercession of the most glorious, praiseworthy apostles, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy martyrs of, the, of our Father among the saints, Nectarios, Bishop of Pentapolis, the wonder worker and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves humankind. The Afon ton Agion Pateron Imon, Kiri Su Christophus, Heleison Kesoson Imon. Congratulations. God bless you. All the best for your family. God bless you. If you'd like to, you can go back down, then we'll go from there. Just watch your step. What? You keep it. Μετά φόβου Θεού, πίστεως και αγάπης, προσέλθετε with the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Mm. Lord and God. 
God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. Bless you, Jesus, precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. Receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Savior of Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Caterina, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Antonio, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Christ, the servant of God, Anastasia, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the servant of God, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. God, Katerina, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and 
and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Maria de Aconsa, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Christina, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Nathaniel, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Elaine, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. Servant of God, the the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Benjamin, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord. And God. The servant of God. Jesus Christ. No. The servant of God receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, let us give you, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Andreas, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Maria receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Nicoletta, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Sotiria, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Andoni, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. God, the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Venus, the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Archie, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Janine, receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Save the Lord your people and bless your inheritance. Exalt, Master. 
Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, your glory over all the earth. Be exalted, exalt, O God, above master. the heavens, and your glory over all the earth. Exalt, Master. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory over all the earth. always now and forever and unto the ages of ages Amen. let our mouths be filled with your praise O Lord that we may sing of your That's glory because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries keep us in your sanctification that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness Alleluia. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life creating, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And protect Lord. us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. <clears throat> Ότι εσύ ή ο αγιασμό ημών και εσύ την δόξαν αναπέμπομαν το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύματι νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. O Christ our God, accept from those who call upon you with all their heart this spiritual sacrifice without the shedding of blood as a sacrifice of praise and true worship. You are the Lamb and the Son of God who bears the sins of the world, the blameless calf who does not accept the yoke of sin and who freely sacrificed yourself for us. You are broken but not divided. You are consumed but never spent. You sanctify those who partake of you in remembrance of your voluntary passion and life, giving resurrection on the third day, you have made us partakers of your ineffable and heavenly and awesome mysteries of your holy body and precious blood. Preserve us, your servants, those who minister, our leaders, the armed forces, the people present here in your holiness. Grant that we may meditate upon your righteousness at all times and in every season. Guide us in our actions so that may we may do what is pleasing unto you and may be, find us worthy to stand at your right hand when you return to judge the living and the dead. Deliver our sisters and brothers who are in captivity. Visit those who are sick. Protect those who are in danger at sea. Give rest to all the souls of those who have fallen asleep in the hope of eternal life where the light of your face shines. Hear the petitions of those who beseech you for help. Strengthen those at, the, at war, for you are the giver of all good things, and to you we give glory, together with your eternal Father and your all-holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. The mystery of your people, so praise the God, has been accomplished and perfected as far as in his power. We have seen the memorial of your death. We have seen the deepest of your We have been filled with an unending life. We have enjoyed your next delight, which the world to come is well pleased to be given to all. Through the grace of your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and into the ages of ages. Amen.
Με τα πνευμάτων των δικαίων τα τελειωμένων, τα στοιχά των δούλων σου σώτερα να παύσουν. Φιλά τον αυτά ή στην μακαρία ζωή τη παράση φιλάνθρωπε. Ή στην καταπαύση σου κυρία όπου πάντε οι αεί σου αναπαύονται. Ανάπαυσον και τα σπιχά των δούλων σου ότι μόνο υπάρχει σαν θάνατο. Όξα πατρί και ιό και αγίο πνεύματι, Σι ο Θεό ημών ο καταβάση άδειν. Και τα σωδίνα λύσα των πεπεδημένων. Αυτό και τα σπιχά των δούλων σου σώτερα να παψούν. Both now and always and forever and ever, a man, no virgin alone, pure and undefiled, who gave birth to God in a manner beyond describing, intercede that the souls of your servants may be saved. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the souls of the departed servants of God, Betty, James, Eric, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God grant their souls rest where the righteous repose for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, your trample down death, destroy the power of the devil and given life to the world. Give rest to the soul of your departed servants, Vasiliki, Dimitriou, Eric, Constantinou, in a place of light, Amen. in a place of green passion, a Amen. place of refreshing, Amen. where all pain, sorrow, and sighing have fled. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed, whether by word or deed or thought. For there is no one who lives and does not sin. You, Lord, alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. <laughs> Και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομε, συντονά σου πατρί και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζώπιο σου πνεύματι, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα στον αιώνα. Αμήν. Κρύου δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λέισον. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your dearly beloved servant, Βασιλική Δημητρίου Ερικ Κωνσταντίνο. And to you we offer up glory with your eternal Father who is without beginning in your all good life creating spirit, now and ever and into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Everlasting be your memory, our beloved brothers and sisters who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal. Aonia, imni, imni, aonia, imni, imni, aonia, afto.
Δημητσάνη των γόνων Βυζαντίου των Πρόεδρων και τη Εκκλησία Απάση Γέρα Θείων και Κάφημα Γρηγόριον τη μισόμεν πίστη ω μάρτυρα Χριστού πανεύκλεη. Είναι αλάβομεν τεσμάτων των ηλασμών παραθέου κραυγάζοντε. Δόξα το δε δοκότη σου ισχυν. Δόξα το σε στεφάνο σαντι. Δόξα το εν ευκλεία ουρανών, δοξάσαντα σε Αγίε. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, Κύριε Λαϊσόν, Κύριε Λαϊσόν, Again, we pray for the faithful Orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for Archbishop Nathaniel and our brothers and sisters in Christ. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, the remission of sins of the servants of God, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, the stewards and benefactors of this holy church, and for the servants of God, Gregory, Christina, Lon Jesus, Angelki, Christina, Nicholas, Constantine, Anna, Leonardo, George, Eleni, Constantino, Anastasia, Christos, Rebecca, Dimitri, Eleni, Dimitri, Christos, Nicoletta and family, Vasilis and family, Eleni and family, Dimitrios and family, Dimitrios and family, Vasily and family, Rusev and family, Diana and family, Alexandra, Elias and family, Christina, Peter, Amanda, Katerina, Georgia and family, Diane and family, Haralambos and family, Kyriakos and family, Eleni and family, Angelikos and family, Vasilis and family, Panagiotis and family, Evangelius and family, Antonia and family, Samson and family, all who are suffering, whether in body, mind, or spirit. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for the protection of this holy church, this city and every city and land from wrath, famine, pestilence, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, foreign invasion, civil strife, accidental death, that our good and loving God may be merciful, gracious, and kindly disposed, and may he divert and disperse all anger and disease coming against us and deliver us from his own just threat hanging over us, and have mercy on us. Again, we pray that our Lord, our God, may hear the prayer of us sinners and have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. Τον θελάσσι μακράν και ήλες ήλες και μην δέσποτες αμαρτίας ημών και λύσε μας. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all those who live everywhere on earth and those far out at sea. Be gracious toward our sins, Master, and have mercy upon us. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind and to you offer up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the peace, peace be with you all. Bound with your spirit. Tas ke falasimon to kyrio klino men. Si kyrie. Das po ta poliale kyrie su Christo tho simon. Presvias is panachrando des pini simon tho toko kai parthano Marias. Δυνάμει του τιμίου και ζώπιου σταυρό, προστασίε του τιμίνε πρανίων, δυνάμενα σωμάτων, οικεσίε του τιμίου δόξου, προφήτου προδρόμου και βαπτιστού Ιωάννου, των Αγίων Δόξων και Παναφήμων και Πρωτοκορυφαίων Αποστόλων, Πέτρου και Παύλου και πάνω των Αγίων Αποστόλων, 
των Αγίων Πατέρων ημών μεγάλων ιεραρχών και οικουμενικών διδασκάλων, Βασιλείου του Μεγάλου Γρηγορίου του Θεολόγου και Ιωάννου Χρυσοστόμου, Αθανασίου και Κυρίλου Ιωάννου του Ελέημονο Πατριαρχών Αλεξανδρία, Νικολάου του Ενμύρη, Σπύριδο Επισκόπου Τριμηθούντο και Νεκταρίου Πενταπόλεω θα, των Θαυματουργών, των Αγίων Δόξων Μέγαλων Μαρτύρων Γεωργίου του Τροπεοφόρου, Δημητρίου του Μυροβλήτου, Θεοδόρου Τίνο, Θεοδόρου Στρατιλάτου, Μινά του Θαυματουργού, των Ιρωματήρων Πολυκάρπου Χαραλάμπου και Ελευθερίου, των Αγίων Δόξων Μεγάλων Μαρτύρων Γυναικών. Θέκλα Βαρβάρα Αναστασία Εκατερίνη, Κυριακή Φωτεινή Μαρίνη Παρασκευή και Ειρήνη, των Οσίων και Θεοφόρων Πατέρων Ημών, των Νασκήσι Λαμψάνων, των Αγίων και Δικαίων Θεοπατόρων Ιωακίμ και Άννη, τη Οσία Μητρό Σιμών Μαρία τη Αιγυπτία, του Οσίου Πατρό Σιμών Σάββο του Ενκαλύμνου και του Αναγή Πατρό Σιμών Γρηγορίου Πέμπτου Πατριάρχου Κωνσταντινοπόλεω του Εθνομάρτυρο, όν και τη μνήμη επιτελούμεν και πάντων σου των Αγίων, εφρόσδεκτον πίσω την δέη συνημών. Δόρισε ημίν την άφεση των παραπτωμάτων ημών, σκέπασον ημάς εν τη σκέπη των περίγων σου, απαδίωξον εφημών πανέθρων και πολέμιων, ειρήνευσον ημών την ζωήν Κύριε λέησον ημάς, και των κόσμων σου και σώσον τα ψυχάς ημών, ως αγαθός και φιλάνθρωπος και λέημον Θεός. Στου πέντε άρτου εν τη ρήμο και εξ αυτών πεντάκι χιλίου άντρα χορτά σα. Αυτό ευλόγησαν και του άρτου τούτου των σύτων των νύνων και των ελαιών. Και πλήθυνον αυτά εν τη αγία εκκλησία την πόλη ταυτή. Εν τη οίκη των εορταζόντων και στον κόσμο σου απάντα. Και του εξ αυτών μεταλαμβάνοντα πιστό δόλο σου, Αγία Σον. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who blessed the five loaves in the wilderness from them, five thousand men were filled. Bless now these loaves, the wheat, the wine, the oil, and multiply them in this holy church, this city, and the homes of those who celebrate today and in your whole world, and sanctify your faithful servants. 
who partake of them. For you are he who blesses and sanctifies all things, O Christ our God. And to you we offer up glory with your eternal Father, your all holy good life, creating spirit, now and ever and into the ages of ages. the blessings of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and through the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, God, our hope, Lord, glory to you. May he who rose from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the intercession most pure and holy mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the supplications and protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our father among the saints, Basil the Great, Archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, the heaven revealer, whose divine liturgy we celebrated, of our father among the saints, Nectarius, Bishop of Pentapolis, the wonder worker, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of our holy mother, Mary of Egypt, of the holy father, Sava of Kalimnos, and of our father among the saints, Gregorios, Patriarch of Constantinople V, the ethno-martyr, who whose memory we commemorate today and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves humankind. Amen. Eleison ke sosun imas to the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. The Agia Trias, the Aphilax of Pandasimas, may the Holy Trinity God protect all of us. Kali us, good morning and welcome to the community of St. Ectarius Greek Orthodox Church. Please be seated. Kalimera, good morning. Today, my beloved brothers and sisters, we chanted the memorial services three, late, three months for the late Eric Constantine Hill, three months for the late Vasiliki Beri Galanis, and five years for the late Dimitrios James Galanis. We pray our Lord grants them eternal rest in the bosom of Abraham where there's no pain, no sorrow, no suffering, but only life eternal. Today's Artoclasia was offered in honor of the holy martyr Gregory V, Patriarch of Constantinople, who we celebrate today. St. Gregory V, the Patriarch of Constantinople, was the ethno-martyr, who many of you know as Gregorios Opemtos, who was hanged in 1821 outside of the gates 
of the Patriarchate in Constantinople because of his support for the, the insurrection and for the opportunity for our faithful brothers and sisters in Greece to fight for their freedom in 1821. And so that Artoclasia was offered, sponsored by the family of Greg and Tina Graber, and we pray that our Lord grants them health and their family, and may we have the intercessions of St. Gregory, the Patriarch of Constantinople V, to always be with us. This is the last week leading up before Holy Week. You'll see the divine services and the activities for this upcoming week. Being that Holy Week is upon us, there's a lot of activities and a lot of events in which we're going to need a lot of support, time, and effort. So first and foremost, I'd like to highlight that I know our guild and our, uh, are looking for people to help out throughout Holy Week. We need people who have either been on the guild in the past or if you're new on the guild, please reach out to Harry Gianos and one of our guild members to participate and help out in one of our uh, days in which we need guild members. It's not very hard. It's a great opportunity to welcome the faithful into our community, to greet our brothers and sisters who we have seen often or maybe we haven't seen in the last couple of years. But knowing that the church will be reopened fully and that there are no restrictions, difficulties, we are expecting a lot of our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ to be here for the various services. So we need your support, your love, and your time, especially in the avenue of the guild. Being, that, uh, being, being said, this upcoming week, we also have this upcoming Friday, uh, the Lazarakia event. The Lazarakia event is for our youth in which they get to learn how to make Lazarakia. Lazarakia are little Lazarus cookies, and we talk about the understanding of Lazarus and his resurrection from the dead, and then in turn the importance of how it leads into Holy Week. That's open for our all youth. Please just fill out one of the registration forms or go online and join us this upcoming Friday from 6.30 to about 8 p.m. There will be a light meal offered for all those present as well. Then, Saturday of Lazarus, we have a lot of activities. We have our Sunday School Saturday of Lazarus retreat that will begin from 11 to 1 o'clock immediately following the Divine Liturgy. We encourage all of you to sign up your children. There is no Holy Friday retreat here. We offer our retreat on Saturday of Lazarus. But it's a great opportunity to prepare us for Holy Week. Our children also participate in crafts. They also clean up the church and they help us to beautify our beautiful church as well as then to decorate with all the palms and palm crosses that we will be making throughout the week and Saturday. So that's this Saturday, Saturday of Lazarus from 11 a.m. to about 1 p.m. following the Divine Liturgy of the Feast of Saturday of Lazarus. During that time as well too, we will also have our Acolytes Altar Boys meeting here in the church immediately to follow when I ask all of our altar boys who are part of our altar groups to come and be with us so that they can learn uh, what we need to do throughout Holy Week, the different processions, the time, the effort, the dignity, and pride that they need to have as they are serving in the altar of our Lord here at St. Nectarios. It's a great blessing, a great honor, so please remind any of your boys who are here that are uh, for the Acolytes group to be here this Saturday for that meeting. Being that I also brought up the Acolytes, you'll see something in our bulletin in which we are also collecting donations for new altar rooms. Now, it's not a bad thing because we have beautiful red and blue ones, but there's not enough. We have about 12 red robes and 12 blue ones, but as you can see, on a regular Sunday, we have about 12 altar boys, small and large. So we are looking to purchase gold ones as well, too, to have them universally, about 30 of them, and we are looking for donations for the altar robes. If you are interested in donating towards them, contact myself or the church office so that we can uh, have them and unveil them. And God willing, we can possibly have them before Holy Week so that our children can wear them throughout Holy Week. So if you're able to do that, God bless you, and we thank you ahead of time. Uh, last couple notes for the rest of the week. Our bookstore has reopened. We want to thank Tatiana Durley for putting her love and effort to reestablish the bookstore that Elaine Regopoulos and many other people of our beloved community continue to support and strengthen. When you get a chance, go into the uh, gymnasium, see the tables that there are free will books for you to take home for you or for your family. And if not, look what's new in our bookstore. And if you'd like to make any orders or anything in that manner, contact Tatiana and her husband, Ben, and they will help you out to make any of those purchases from our bookstore. And then lastly, next Sunday, being that it's Palm Sunday, we will also have our Myrrh Bears meeting as well too. Those are the Mirofores. Now what's really a blessing for us, and I talk to a lot of the moms and dads, as well as the girls and the people who will be running our Myrrh Bears, is they will not only be coming Friday night, the Myrrh Bears will actually be helping out Sunday night, 
Monday night and Tuesday night with the processions and, and other avenues throughout the divine services. One of the biggest pains that I have felt, not only because myself being an ordained clergyman, but I'm a man, is we always hear a lot from the women that there's not enough for their daughters to do. This is a great opportunity to have your daughters involved in the beauty of the services of our church by becoming a mirofora, a merbear. The meeting is next Sunday after the Palm Sunday services around 11.30 in the morning. It'll only be about a 15, 20 minute meeting. Sign up your daughters, sign up your granddaughters and nieces so they can be a part of this beautiful ministry to get them engaged, involved in the beautiful services that we offer here at St. Nectarius Greek Orthodox Church. I'm 99% positive that's everything. If I forgot something, yell at me. If not, we also have something beautiful to offer, and that is we had last week our oratorical festival. The oratorical festival is a beautiful offering from our Sunday school ministry in which one or a few of our children offer presentations, essays, poems, or iconography so that they can showcase their faith and belief in God through the teachings of our Sunday school teachers. So I would like to ask Susanna Brown to please come up as she will represent our church, uh, now at a more of a metropolis level, with her beautiful presentation and her words of comfort and teaching to us on behalf of St. Nectarios Sunday School. Susanna, come on up. Okay. Go for it. My topic is choose a saint whose life has been important to you or your family. Discuss what you find most inspiring about the saint and what others can learn from how they live their life. Let me ask you all some questions. Has someone ever spread a lie about you? Did people view you differently because of that lie? How did it make you, people, how did it make you feel that people believed the lie? At some point, almost everyone has experienced things that have been said about them that are untrue, including St. Nectarios. First, I'm going to tell you about the life of St. Nectarios, and then I will explain why he's an inspiring and relatable saint. St. Nectarios was born on October 1st, 1846 in Silivria of Thraki. After completing theological school, he went to Alexandria, Egypt, and Patriarch Sophronius ordained him a priest and later a metropolitan. The people loved their metropolitan Nectarios and thought he was very good at preaching about God. But some men were jealous of Metropolitan Nectarios. These men told Patriarch Sophronius that Metropolitan Nectarios wanted to be Patriarch, which was a lie. Patriarch Sophronius removed Metropolitan Nectarios and said that he had to leave Egypt. Patriarch Sophronius' letter of suspension was intentionally unclear, which made people make up more lies about Metropolitan Nectarios. Metropolitan Nectarios didn't defend himself because he understood that God knew the truth. In the years that followed, St. Nectarios served as a priest in Evia and then as dean of a school in Athens. The lies always followed him, and he continued to ask God to help both him and his accusers. Toward the end of his life, he started a monastery in Aegina. Sadly, the lies continued. He forgave the people spreading the lies, prayed, and didn't defend himself. St. Nectarios died in 1920. After he died, a nurse and a nun took off his clothes to prepare for his burial. They put the clothes on a paralyzed man who was on the bed next to St. Nectarios, and he wasn't paralyzed anymore. St. Nectarios has done many more miracles and is known for healing people with cancer. St. Nectarios' life is inspiring to me for his ability to forgive his accusers and place his complete, complete trust in God, who ultimately is the only one who knows the truth. St. Nectarios had to deal with people spreading lies about him, which many people have to deal with at some point in their lives now. He inspires me because even though many people were spreading lies about him, he persevered and kept praying. He also didn't get mad at the people who were spreading lies about him or want revenge. Instead, he forgave them. St. Nectarios prayed to God to help him a lot, and even though life was hard, he eventually got jobs. We can pray to God to help us. What we pray for might not happen right away, but it could happen eventually. People can learn to not let lies about them ruin their life. Instead, they can pray to God and persevere like St. Nectarios did. Even though some saints were alive thousands of years ago and probably had to deal with people spreading lies about them, St. Nectarios is more relatable to me because he was alive at the same time as some of my older relatives who I knew when I was little. In conclusion, 
um, as we go through our middle school and high school years, let St. Nicodius guide all of us. At some point, someone might say something untrue about any of us, whether it be in person, behind our back, or online. If St. Nicodius could forgive Patriarch Sophronius, who was like a father to him, we can forgive people who say untrue words about us. Thank you. Good job, Susanna. Bravo, Superitia. Congratulations. God bless you. Well, Leona, Susanna, we, we thank you for those beautiful words, and we wish you uh, all the best at the Metropolis level. God bless you, and thank you for that inspiration and for reminding us about our relationship with St. Nectarios and how blessed we are to have him as a patron saint. God bless you. Nasekala. Me aftata loigia, agapiti mo adelfi, sa sefun me, kali evdomada, kalo ipolipo, megali sarakosti. Uh, καλή Ανάσταση να έχουμε όλοι μας, εύχομαι να σας δούμε στις ακολουθίες και μην ξεχάσετε πέστε στους συγγενείς σας και τους φίλους σας ότι η Μεγάλη Εβδομάδα έρχεται, να ερχόμαστε στην Εκκλησία, να εκκλησιάζουμε, να προετοιμαστούμε για τη Θεία Κοινωνία και για όλα τα δώρα που προσφέρει η Εκκλησία σε όλους εμάς, μόνο από τη χάρη και το, την ευλογία του Θεού. Για, γι' αυτό σας εύχομαι ο Θεός, η Παναγία και ο Άγιος Νεκτάριος να είναι μαζί μας. Καλή δύναμη και καλή συνέχεια. I just want to wish all of you a blessed remainder of great and holy Lent, a blessed resurrection to all of us as we prepare to celebrate our Lord's glorious resurrection on Pascha. Please join us for the services coming up this week. Tell your friends and family, Holy Week is upon us to be at church, to be at church as often as possible. So as Father Chris, Father Chris said so beautifully before, that we may find that peace that our Lord can give us and may his grace and his blessing always be with us so that we could celebrate his glorious resurrection for our entire world. Amen. May our Lord, the Theotokos and Senectarius, always be with us. Amen. Uh, Father Chris will pass out the Arto on the back and may you go in peace.
Πάτε Χρήστο, κόψτε την κουβέντα. Singing loud if you're not at rehearsal. Because we've been practicing now for months. So please come. 